being mad as shit, bro. Oh my god. <clears throat> My voice is fucked, by the way. I'm going to need to go get cough drops before we start this shit. Oh, my God. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? I need to get cough drops, bitch. I need to get cough drops. I'm about to pass out. I'm late as fuck. My voice is shot. We're doing a react day today, bitch. That's all that matters. Dub in the chat for that. Oh, we got reacts right now. Okay, this is the general plan for today. Oh my God, I need to get a cough drop. Yo, can you guys count me down 30 seconds? I'm actually, does my voice sound fucked? My voice is fucked. I'm going to run and get cough drops. Everybody count me down 30 seconds. <gasps> We're back. Oh my god, that was a fucking fast sprint. Anyways, I'm live late, right? Ugh. It's a react day. That's a dub. Uh, we got a bunch of videos that we're actually going to be watching today. Starting off with the Darman, the tried and true. Uh, then we're going to be moving into Will People Believe Anything You Say? Two TLC videos. Haven't watched TLC in a while. Oh my god, I'm about to pass out. Dude, I just ran. I literally just ran for those fucking cough drops. Then, we have a Stokes Twin video, XQC, the worst reactor to ever exist, the death of laugh tracks. Laugh tracks. Uh, and then we're going into a scary video. After that, we are going to be doing Monopoly, okay? For this stream is just reactions, all right? We're going to be streaming for about three hours, maybe three and a half. It's going to be a react day. Then, at 7 p.m. EST, around 7 p.m. EST, uh, I'll be live again, right? So we're going to be live right now until about 5.36. Then I'm going to get off. Then I'll be back playing Monopoly with me. Do you guys want to hear the list? I'll just fucking tell you the list. Me, JoJo, Dante, Mark Phillips... Janix and Scum TK. Six people. We got a lot of people playing Monopoly. Should be fun. Uh, but we're doing reactions right now for about three hours. Then at 7 p.m. we're going to be doing Monopoly. Is my voice shot? Does it sound dead? My voice sounds fucking awful right now. I am sorry for that. Uh, I've been screaming way too much the past few days. My voice got to get back into the groove of yelling after I was on vacation. Neva for the 300 bits says big ass forehead. Uh, Bliss for the 500 bits. Red for the 400 bits. Uh, Jay Thickle, Extreme Cluckery, A Cool, Jackson, and Sumo for the sub. Uh, IDC or IDC Zori for the 500 bits. How was your morning? Good. How was yours? Uh, Joshua for the sub. Beaston for the 5,000 bitties. I can't fucking scream, man. I'm sorry. Beaston for the 5,000 bits. That's a dumb in the chat. Thank you for the 5,000 bitties, Beaston. Love the React Days. I'm glad you like React Days. Senza Ross for the sub. Bro for the sub. Star for the 300 bets. The Bird Warzone Shaffer for the sub. Average for the 500 bets. Official Hyper. Seuss Soul Hunter. Ryan Michael Danny for the sub. Kid for the 300 bets. Uh, says you should play Gorilla Tag. I don't have VR. Uh, Waffle for the sub. Chicken for the 1,000 bets. Uh, you're the best, homie. Love the content. Funny as fuck. Thank you. Anthony for the 500 bets. IDC for the 400 bets. Joe and Alex for the sub. Alio for the 300 bets. Is your crap situation better from the cold McChicken? Oh, yeah. I'm not shitting my pants anymore. That's a dub. Uh, purple for the sub. And Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bets. Uh, my friend at the SKL is 15 and squatted 573 pounds. That's cool. Um, he has to convince the assistant he isn't on roids. Well, yeah. If you're squatting 573 pounds at 15, that's pretty, ex uh, that's pretty impressive, right? Uh, are you guys ready to get into the fucking reacts? Ryan for the 300 bits says you're funny as fuck. Thank you. Holy fuck. Where's the music? I play music when I start my stream. I had to turn it off because um, I have to actually talk to you guys. But my voice should be better after this cough drop, but I, I don't know for sure. Anyways, the reason I'm late 
is because I was setting up Monopoly, bitch. That shit took forever. Forever. For fucking ever. Oh my god. I'm sitting here. I set up the reactions. I'm ready to go live at 2. I'm like, oh, let me just turn on Monopoly. It doesn't fucking work. I had to download it on Ubisoft, then on Steam. Had to uninstall both, reinstall, sign in. Oh, it was a big pain in the ass. Fuck Monopoly, but we're playing it later. It should be fun. Joe Mama for the sub and SS for the sub. Let's get into the reacts. No one will adopt one twin girl. What happens next is shocking. We always start off with a Darman-esque video. Uh, and then we're going to move on to other shit after that. Uh, not every time, but most most react days I start off with like a Darman-esque vid. No one will adopt one twin girl. What happens next is shocking. How could you guys keep something like this from That would be kind of crazy, though. Imagine you're not a twin, and one day you open your door, and some dude is just standing there that looks exactly like you. I wouldn't think they're my twin. Would you think they're your twin? I would think they're like a double of me from another universe. That would be where my head would go. Genuinely. If I open the door and somebody looks exactly like me, I'm not thinking they're my twin. I'm thinking that they're going to say they're from like universe 172 or some shit and that they need my help to save the world or some whack shit. I'm not going to be like, oh, my parents uh, left me and then separated us uh, into one adoption family. How could you not tell me I'm adopted? No, no, we, we, we didn't mean to hurt you. We were gonna... You're more pressed that you're adopted than the fact that your parents just didn't adopt both of you. I feel like I would be more mad that my parents didn't take the other kid with them. <laughs> like, you're adopted. Yeah, that's fucked that your parents didn't tell you that, right? But isn't it more fucked that they went to the adoption center and said, yeah, let me only get one of them. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, let me not get the other one. I don't want the other one. <laughs> How do you pick? How do you pick what twin you want? Tell you when you were 18, when, when we thought you were ready. You don't get to decide when I'm ready. I have a whole twin sister that I have lived without for 16 years. We didn't know anything about her. Ooh. When we adopted you, your the records were sealed. We had no idea Serena existed. That's yeah, right. uh, is that facts? I thought you legally have to adopt twins together. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure if twins are put up for adoption, they're not allowed to be separated in the U.S. Can twins be separated for adoption? An adoption professional will never separate twins when placing them for adoption. Yeah, because it's fucked up. You've got to believe us. Serena's still waiting. We can finish talking about this later. Serena. <laughs> And they already acting like besties. The fuck? Dude, I would be sketched the fuck out. I don't even care if I was like, okay, yeah, they're definitely my twin. Bro, they're holding hands and shit. I'm still going to be like, who the fuck are you? I don't care that you're related to me. I have never met you in my entire life outside of when we were in the womb, right? Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, we're besties now. You could still be a fucking wacko. It's really a a pleasure to meet you, Serena. I'm Lorraine, uh, Summer's mother. And... Yo, this oh. man is dumbfound. Bro is just staring. Uh, Summer's mother. And... Just. Oh, and um, I'm Peter, and uh, I were. Summer's parents. And I'm, uh, uh, well, not the actual parents, the adoptive parents. You know how it is. Adoptive parents. Damn. It's nice to meet you. Well, this must be a lot for you to take into, sir. Is it fucked up to not tell your kid they're adopted? 
Like, is that messed up? I mean, like, yeah, they should know, but they also shouldn't be mad at you, right? Like, I mean, they should be mad at you for hiding it, but you're also, like, a good person for adopting a kid, right? Like, if the kid's gonna be like, fuck you, dad, you didn't tell me I was adopted, I would be like, yeah, that's my fault, but, like, I also raised you. <laughs> like, like, what? Like, it, 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 they can't be mad at that p aspect of it. My adoptive parents. Yeah, you're the reason you have a, I'm the reason you have a fucking home. Like, what? That's fucked up. I feel like either, it's fucked up that they don't tell them that they're adopted, but it's also fucked up that the daughter now hates her parents. Like, they still raised you. They're still your father and mother. Yeah, not biologically, but still. Like, they, they're good people. How did you find us? Um, actually, you're not going to believe it. You see, I was walking through the plaza earlier. Well, we know which twin is the worst actor. You find us. Um, actually, you're not. <laughs> so you see. So, yeah. <laughs> so the fucking flashback. Not gonna believe it. You're really not gonna believe this. So you see. You see. What the <gasps> oh! I am Spider Man, by the way. You're not fucking Spider Man. Oh my god. One inch worthful for the 10,500 bits. What the fuck? Oh my god. Bro says he's Spider-Man. Thank you for the 10,000 biddies, bro. 10,500 biddies. Down in the chat for that. Thank you, Werfel. What the fuck? Why is saying homeless for the sub tiptoe for the three inch bits? Did you see what Heron Utz said on Twitter? Is this a D's Nuts joke? Who is Heron Utz? Heron Utz. Is that a real name? I don't believe... Oh, it's, oh, God, it's going to be a D's Nuts joke. It doesn't even come up on Google. Harry Nuts? Harry Nuts! Fuck you! Fuck you, you dumbass! Oh, hair and Nuts? Did you see? Oh, hair and Nuts. Fuck off. Lolly for the sub. R Central and Toasted for the sub. Cooey for the Thringe Bets. Broke my wrist, I can't snowboard, but the streams keep me entertained. Thanks, Joe. No problem. And SL for the Thringe Bets. Or for the three. I have midterms next week. Any advice? Dude, why can't I see people's usernames that are donating, donating like, PayPal shit? You have midterms next week? Any advice? Why do you have midterms in January? Fuck. Any adv- The lava lamp! Did you see all that shit fall? Did you see- Dude, that lava lamp is fucked. I feel like it doesn't even work. Anyways- any advice? Don't procrastinate. I would start studying now. Uh, maybe use a Quizlet, flashcards, whatever. Just segment things out. It depends what subject you're studying for. Uh, that's really what matters on how you can study. Ryder, and Toasted for the 300 bits. Uh, F2 for the 300 bits. Uh, says Rip Ken Block. Uh, Rebecca uh, and Apple for the sub. Too much for the 300 bits. Could you rip them away from each other forever? What do you mean? I don't think you're allowed to separate adopted kids. That's what, or, or adopted twins. That's what I'm saying. Ryan from the Thringe Bets. Scrappy from the Thringe Bets. Last time you called me a dumbass, last time I donated. I called you a dumbass when you donated? What did you say? Tony's and Nathan uh, and Maddie for the sub. Ryan for the Thringe Bets. Red Rocker and One Hood for the sub. Nate for the sub. Joe Mama for the Thringe Bets. Uh, all right. I think we're caught up now. Oh, there we go. Chicken for the Thringe Bets. Cone for the sub. Apollo for the Thringe Bets. He is Spider-Man. Homeless for the sub. Yeah, one inch. Again, thank you for the 10,000 biddies. Uh, chicken for the fringe bets says he's more than one inch. Batten for the fringe bets. Uh, I had 400 hours watching you. That's a dub. Strange for the fringe bets. Did you get a pre? Do I get a pre build or build a PC? I would build one. It's cheaper, more efficient. Huddy for the fringe bets. I'm adopted. My parents told me partially. I was born in Korea. Uh, and parents are white from Canada. They never hid it from me. E gamer for the sub hyper. Yeah, I don't think you should hide it. But I'm saying I also don't think it makes them like shitty parents. Uh, Technic for the fringe bets. Hyper for the fringe bets. 
My morning started out with my tire going flat and coming off the rim. Hope your morning goes better than mine. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you're having a good day. I hope yours gets better. Liam for the Thringe Bits uh, says, love you. Bit parasocial, but thank you for the Thringe Bits. All right, get back to it. Why is your voice whack today? Well, when I yell all the time, and I, uh, you know, just keep yelling all the time, uh, my voice just stops working sometimes. You know what I mean? It's called losing your voice, right? And so it's like, it comes back. Like right now, it sounds normal. Like right now, it sounds normal. But then when I get really loud, it starts crackly. So I can talk normal at certain volumes. But when I'm like really loud, it's different. Aiden for the Thringe Bets says love from the UK and mullet for the sub. I was walking through the plaza earlier. You sound like a stoner. How do I sound like a stoner? <laughs> My voice is shot. Stoner's voices aren't shot. Yeah, it's called losing your voice. Todd Bull for the five gifted subs. I gotta stop screaming. Thank you for the five gifteds, though. Big dub. And I saw you guys leaving the clothing store. Um, I had to do a double take because, well, you know. Um, I wanted to say something, but I got nervous. And when I finally did get the courage to speak, you guys were already leaving. What if they're not actually related? What if they're not actually related and they just look very alike? <laughs> Cause she, does she have the papers? She's saying, oh, I just saw you and you looked a lot like me. Like they might just be like body doubles. So I followed you home. <laughs> See, that's why I ain't getting close with her. That's why I ain't getting close with her. Everybody's saying, oh, she's your twin. Oh, she's half you. Oh, she's related to you. Not even half you. Bitch, you followed them home. You followed them home. What? So, I followed you home. I'm sorry. I just had to meet my sister. And I'm, and I'm so sorry if that sounds a little stalkerish, but I just couldn't... That's very stalkerish. You followed them home. You, li you, you literally went to their house. You tailed their car. That's weird. It's the opportunity to see for myself. And I'm so glad I did. Me too. This is really overwhelming. Finding out I'm adopted. But the way they're looking at each other is just not... <laughs> Me too. It's just so overwhelming. No, just say it's weird. Maybe move away from each other a little bit. Y'all are way too damn close. I have a twin sister all in less than 20 minutes. Wait, wait, you didn't know you were adopted? Nope. My whole life's been a lie. But that's a whole different story. I want to know more about you. Your whole life hasn't been a lie. They still raised you. They still raised you. They didn't tell you you were adopted. It's fucked up. But don't disregard everything your parents did for you for that one thing. What is bro making, by the way? This fucking face. I'm sorry, but we're supposed to go to a dinner party tonight. Can't Serena just come with us? Uh, you know, it's invite only, and so it's the the seats are limited. You guys can continue to talk tomorrow after school. I have work after school. Oh, so you have a job? Mm hmm. Well, that's impressive. That's impressive. Our daughter doesn't. <laughs> Our daughter's never worked a day in her life. Yeah. How about coffee before school? We can meet at the plaza where you saw us. Sounds good. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. You're not even my real parents. You didn't tell me. What do you mean I don't have a job? You're saying the other twin's better than me now? Bro, I can't yell. IDC Zori. For the... Oh, God, I can't yell when I'm playing Monopoly later. <gasps> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, my God, I'm playing Monopoly with everybody that screams. And I'm gonna have to scream and my voice is shot. Bro, IDC Zori for the 54 fucking gifted subs. Oh, my God. I'm just gonna say fuck it and lose my voice tonight.
Holy shit. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to I'm going to have to stock up on cough drops. I'm just going to have to be down in them, dude. Holy shit. Do you think this will fix it? Yo, IDC Zori, I'm sorry I'm off topic. Thank you for the 54 fucking gifteds, dude. IDC Zori 83, thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the 54 gifteds. I literally can't yell, because I'm going to fucking lose it even more. Prometheus for the five gifteds, too. Holy shit. IDC for the 54 gifteds. Holy fucking shit, thank you. And Prometheus for the fucking five gifteds. Do these work? Do you think these will work? I don't have a sore throat. These are what I got. They got menthol. They got menthol in them. You think I could get addicted to these? <laughs> you think I could get addicted to these? My name's Joe Bartolozzi, and I'm addicted to menthol cough drops. <laughs> Prometheus for the five gifteds and IDC for the 54, though. Thank you for the 54 gifted subs. That's actually fucking insane. Just do it for the 500 bets. I just joined. What did I miss? Not much. <laughs> I've, I've just been ranting. That shit is magic. What the menthols? Warm water works. IDC for the 300 bets. Warm, like drink warm water or like gargle it. I, I don't know what I, I do. I just got to fix my voice. Just do it for the 500 bets. I know you have somewhere to be. Put your number in, sis. By the way, could you, like, put in your social security number and the four digits or the three digits on the back of your credit card? We're twins, by the way, so this is this is normal twin activity. I know you don't know what twins do, but we, we share each other's social security numbers. Eight Inch says you missed my bets. Uh, caffeinated for fringe bits. Drink tea with a lot of honey and lemon. I don't even know if I have honey at my house. Dylan for the sub. I'm top 1% on your chat. Got 1K, 1K watch time. 1K hours? I don't even know if I've streamed that much. I know you're really excited about this. We all are. But we need to take this slow. I mean, we don't really know Serena. Back. And I feel really odd about the fact that she followed us home. Back. What are you talking about? She's my blood. More than I could say about you two. Then why don't you go live with her then? Then why you go live with her then? That's what I'm saying. That yo, yo, by, yo, if I'm the dad, by all means, I'm packing that fucking bag. I'm packing your fucking bag right for you. Oh my god. By all means, go live with her. By all, you don't even know if she's your twin sister. She just said she is. She just looks like you. I still can't believe you would hide the most important detail of my life from me. Summer, we said that we would I tell don't you. I hear we... it. They dead ass live in an Airbnb. This is not a real home. This is, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like Airbnbs are not real homes. This is an Airbnb. This looks too perfect. Too many damn pillows on the couch too. Get them the fuck off. Every time I walk into a hotel or an Airbnb, you know what I'm doing with those pillows? Stacking them in the corner. Because ain't nobody fucking use those. Thank you. So, my first question is, do you know anything about our birth parents? I tried for a long time to find them, but no luck. Well, so that means way, you're adopted. She is a way worse actor. I am so sorry. I tried for a long time to find them, but no luck. Well, so that means you're adopted too. How are your adoptive parents? Um, I'd rather not talk about any of that right now. Crap, I didn't realize what time it was. I better get to school. Ain't she go to school too? You're the same damn age. You're twins. Why are we acting like she got work and the other one don't? You're both the same fucking person. Yo, what? Are you going to school too? We live in the same town. The fuck? Aren't you going to be late for school too? No. I dropped out. Oh, God. Dropped out of high school? Wait, really? Why? Look, 
enough about school. Let's just hang out. We have so many years of catching up to do. I don't know. She's a lizard person. Stay away from her. She's going to eat you. She will eat you by the end of this episode. Leave. That look. Oh, my God. Wants to we catch have so up. so many years of catching up. AKA, she wants to eat you. She is fake. She is a lizard person. She's a skinwalker. Catching up to do. I don't know. I've never cut school before. My mom would kill me if she found out. Your mom seems really overprotective. You're 16. Basically an adult. Look, I'll call the school, pretend to be your mom, tell them you're sick. It'll be fine. Yo, your twin sucks. Yo, this is... What happens next is shocking. Is this twin's gonna be the bad one that does, like, crack? And this is the one that's, like, very nice and outstanding and has the parents that she hates, but she's gonna realize her parents are amazing. And this one has shitty parents that didn't raise her right. Pretend to be your mom. Be. Tell him you're sick. It'll be fine. Watch. Yo, L twin, though. Really trying to fuck up the other girl's life. Hello? Lorraine. Yo, they're really wearing the same damn plaid bucket hat. Or not plaid. What, what fucking material is that? NPC activity. What the fuck is this? Corduroy? Is that corduroy? Is that a corduroy bucket hat? What the fuck? Looks like wood. I'm Jarvis speaking. <laughs> I'm calling to tell you my daughter is sick today. <laughs> that was pretty good. What the heck? <laughs> mm hmm You too, Claire. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Piece of cake. I can't believe they bought it. Were you really that worried? How have you survived all these years without me? I don't know. You're the yin to my yang. <laughs> Bro, you met each other 12 hours ago. <laughs> or like 24 hours ago, like the day before. And you're like already just like clicked up like that. What the fuck? I had for the 300 bits. After MHA, you should watch Anime Erased. I'm watching One Piece right now. But a dude who travels back in time prevents bad things. That's actually pretty cool. What is it on? Uh, cause I don't have crunchy roll. I do need to get that though. RG for the sub, two inch for the fringe bets. Oh god. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, and it won't even read it. That's how you know it's a bad two inch one. <clears throat> two inch says, if I'm the dad, here's what I do. I tell the daughter if she's bitching about being adopted, she can move out. Then I hire a hitman to shoot her and hold her hostage for ransom. Then when my daughter comes home crying, I shoot her in the legs and punch my hand through her heart. That would be murder, Two Inch. That would be killing somebody. That would not be teaching anyone a lesson. That would be murdering someone, right? That would be, that would actually be ripping the heart out of somebody's heart, uh, uh, stomach or chest, rather. IDC for the th uh, 500 bits, pick a number from 99 to 100. So between 99 or 100, 99.5 ratio. Well, that's not a number. That's not a whole number. 99. Soul in for the sub and it's for the 500 bets. Your top tier Switch streamer IMO. Thank you. Rain for the 500 bets. Best way to get your voice back is not using it. Yeah, I know. That's the issue is my job is talking. GT for the sub. Yeller for the 300 bets. Uh, she could be a doppelganger from the year 3000. True. Two for the 300 bets. Got mauled by a bear, and your streams are helping me recover. There's no... Sh you got mauled by a bear. When? How do you get mauled? How Where did you get mauled by a bear? Are you okay? Prometheus for the sub. Elio for the forge bets. And Dylan for the sub. All right. Uh, And suitable for the forge bets. Did you know on a pause YouTube video, you can press... The, like, parentheses, or not the parentheses, the less or greater than sign or your keyboard to fast forward. Yeah, I do that with this. I just do this. You got Ooh, I gotta have the stress. With the arrows. Kid for the 300 bets. If I had a twin that followed me home and didn't show any documents of us being twins, I would be so confused. I would think that they're lying to me. No questions asked. I'm not doubting that they're twins anymore. I just think she's the bad twin and she's the good twin. You gonna get yours? 
They're both $150. I can't afford this. They're going to steal you? it. Oh, she's going to steal it. Oh, stop. That, it's literally just supposed to be the reverse. Money's not a problem. I have a job, remember? Oh, she does work. Lucky. If I put this on my mom's credit card, she'd freak. So I'll pass. Oh, she is stealing it. Oh my it. gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a job, remember? <laughs> Literally just starts shoving it in her bag. What the fuck? What are you doing? When I said I had a job, I didn't say what kind of job. No, Serena, you can't do that. It's not just a bad idea. You can get into so much trouble. What's the big deal? It's one day of school. Yeah, they got a nice ass kitchen. Holy fuck. It's a nice ass kitchen. Got that big ass a center island. Everyone I know has cut before. If you had let us know you didn't want to go, maybe we could have understood. But instead, you just lied. Wow. You guys are one to talk about lying. Oh my God. Here we fucking. Oh, here we. Here we fucking go again. I'm packing her bag. I'm packing her bag. I'm telling her to go live with the twin. Watch it, Summer. No. This is ridiculous. It's not like I was at some party or something. I was with my twin. We're trying Who was to make shoplifting. Make up for lost time. We get that. We want you to, but we want you to be smart about it. You two are making bad choices, and we don't like it. Today is cutting. What's next? Stealing? Look. <laughs> she said, actually, uh, she, we already did that. From now on, when you want to go see Serena, one of us is coming with you. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not five. I'm 16. I'm practically an adult. All right, listen, we have to talk about this later, but not till after your piano practice. I'm not going to piano. Piano practice? Oh, this family, this family's rich, rich. Piano practice. Next, you're gonna tell me she's playing the harp. Fuck. Practice, I'm going to see Serena. Excuse me. Since when do you tell us what you're going to do? What's the problem? You guys literally do what you want. That you counter alone's like 20 grand. Yeah, I know. It's marble. Lied to me for 16 years. That doesn't change the fact that you're our daughter. Am I, though? Damn. Damn. Summer. Family doesn't require blood. Facts. It requires love. Facts. One day you're gonna see that. We're sorry that we didn't tell you everything, but that doesn't change the fact that we're family. Serena is. I don't know about you two. Anyways, I gotta go. She's waiting for me. You can't just leave, Summer. Summer. We're going to do meth in the alleyway. <laughs> we already shoplifted. What's next? Where are you going? When are you coming back? Damn, how many things she steal? How is she not getting caught? What the fuck? Coming back. Oh my, bro, those are like, that's like 10 bags. How do you steal a bag? Like, yeah, you could steal shit in a bag. How do you steal a bag? A bag in a bag. But how do you steal the first bag? You keister it? You shove it up your ass? I don't think that would work. Uh, so you like New York? Mm -hmm. It's my dream to live there someday. Crazy. Mine too. We uh, damn dream to live in New York. No one's dream is to live in New York. I'm saying that right now. Once you get there... Once you get there and you see people just pissing on the, on the fucking sidewalk and it smells like shit and everybody hates you, no. I'm not saying it's bad. I live in Jersey. I've been to, I go to New York all the fucking time. I'm saying, live there. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about all that. You really are. It's expensive as fuck. Twins. I'm trying to convince my parents to uh, take that's me. That's my dream. Dude, okay. 
a lot of you probably have the dream of living in New York City. I don't want to crush your dream, but it's it once you're there for like four years, you're gonna say, "Damn, I fucking hate this place." <laughs> you're gonna say, "Yeah, let me move somewhere where there's actually like you know space <laughs> because everything is crowded as fuck. Uh, the only place you can go to do like anything is Central Park uh, or inside places in buildings. If like, I mean, if you don't care about like going outside, then, then yeah, it's amazing. Right. But like, if you actually want to like go play football or like hang out, go for a long drive or like sit on a nice beach, New York is not the place at that point, live in like a big, a big city. That's like not as large, right? That's more South, maybe even not, not even South, maybe North, but like Philly, like Philly, you could live in because you can drive places that are close. But New York's so big. Be there for my birthday next month. Oh, wait, it'll be our birthdays. Me my birthday next month. Oh, wait, it'll be our birthdays. Maybe we can do a trip together. Wait. I'm sussed out that they're not twins still. That was weird. That was weird. Why are you so dressed up? Remember I was telling you I have a surprise? Well, we're going out. I wish you would have told me I would have dressed better than this. Don't worry about that. Because... No, you stole this dress too? You can say I'm a bit of a professional. How else do you think I can afford all this stuff? You know, if you steal from most businesses, they know you stole. It's a little fun fact. Most businesses know you stole, right? Like everybody that steals think they're, thinks they're so slick, right? Like, there's cameras everywhere. They know you stole, right? They don't do anything until you steal over a certain amount. It's a little fun fact, usually. Like, if you, st say you stole from a Walmart and you, like, shoved that shit in your pocket and you thought you were slick as hell, they saw you. <laughs> they have a clip of you stealing. They're just not gonna, they're not, it's a waste of their time to arrest you for that. But if you keep coming back and stealing shit, then they'll compile it and then they'll arrest you. <laughs> Most of the time. That's what big businesses do. Like Walmart factors in billions of dollars of stolen goods. How much is stolen from Walmart each year? $3 billion of product. Walmart has $3 billion of shit stolen every year. Billion. That's how much, that's how much people steal from Walmart. That's why they're not going to arrest you unless you steal over a certain amount. <laughs> Whoa. You weren't lying, Serena. You really do have a twin. Not only a twin, but my new bestie. Summer, meet my friends, Asia and Leslie. Nice to meet you guys. Oh my God. This is just like a movie. This is like the parent trap, but without Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. <laughs> celebrate. We will at the party. Party? Yeah, at UCLA. I got us an invite to the Theta XI event. Now hurry up and go That's get ready. That's like mad illegal. You're getting invited to a frat party? You're 16. What the fuck? Wait, a college frat party? I don't think I can go, Serena. Are you seriously worried about your parents again? Live a little. You're hanging out with your sister. Oh. Be more worried about getting arrested when the fucking frat party gets shut down. Everybody get down, everybody get down. Okay. Every frat party I have ever been to has gotten shut down. Everyone. Everyone. Every single one. I've been to like six. They've all gotten shut down. And the cops just start swarming in, bitch. Oh, immediately. Hey, girls. It's time to turn up. Why? Because they're loud. We need shots. Most frat parties, unless you're living in like a big college or a big college with like frat row, they're they're usually in like rural neighborhoods. Just just like a house. There might be a few houses, but their frat parties, their frat houses next to regular homes. So the people call the cops on the house. Or if you don't get in. That's what that's what that's what a lot of douchebags do. If you're in college and you don't get in, oh, this is what a lot of people do. A lot of kids that go to frat parties, if they don't get in, they'll walk away and call the cops on the house. 
and then just and just keep walking, just because they didn't get in, so they just shut down the party. That's dickhead energy, but that's what a lot of people do. ASAP, we'll go get. Them. Damn, I'm not allowed in. That sucks. Then they walk away and they just call the cops. Them. I'm not gonna drink. <clears throat> you can if you want to, but I don't think it's a good idea. Summer, we're at a college party. If we don't drink, people are <laughs> dead ass. Dead ass. Summer, we're at a college party. They're not even moving to the beat. They're just fucking jumping up and down. You're gonna think we're weird. Where's you guys' drinks at? They're coming. See? Just one drink. Bro, this is like this. This is not, you know how Darman don't know what a frat party is? This is not, this is not the amount of people that would be here. Frat parties are not this nice, right? The house is going to look like it's from the 1700s. Everything's going to be broken. And you're going to be in a basement, a hot basement on a dirt floor, no concrete, on a dirt floor. There's no, there's no insulation, by the way. You're on a dirt floor in the basement, huddled next to maybe 700 other people in one basement. That's what, that's what a frat party is. That, you got, if you can move, you're not at a frat party. If you're not pushing people to get out of the way, you're not at a frat party. Somebody redeemed headset then. It's not even dented yet. Uh, for the people saying lag, is the stream lagging? Two inch for the 300 bits. Scrub for the sub, Seco for the sub. Show my dream is still I living in the heart of Texas. Yeehaw, Bruther, where I can shot anyone who steps on my front lawn and get drunk in my lifted Ford F-150 listening to the most country redneck shit of your life wearing my cowboy hats. Yep. Your dream is to go to Texas, get drunk in a Ford, one, Ford F-150. Wow. Lucky for the three My fiance, Ajaya, I don't know how to say that. Uh, and I've been watching you on YouTube for a little, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name, for a little while and decided to tune into the streams. It's been really entertaining. Hope you have a good afternoon. Thank you. I'm glad that uh, both of you like my streams. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, though. Uh, I suck at saying usernames uh, and just yet names in general. We're full of the 500 bets. My dream is to move to Colorado and snow ski it, uh, day in and day out. That's, that's actually a pretty cool dream. Uh, like what the kid did to you on your vacay, just embarrass the shit out of people. Oh, you want to be like the... You want to be like the mainstream guy at the fucking ski lift? Uh, sad for the sub wolf for the fringe bets. I'm from New York. I personally hate it. It's super expensive. It's way too expensive. Sneaky for the fringe bets. My friend stole a ferret and a bunny. How do you steal a ferret and a bunny? What did you just walk into a fucking pet smart and just grab it and walk away? Punks into dirt for the sub John for the fringe bets. Logan for the fringe bets. Uh, all right. Strawberry and the pro gamer for the sub. Just one drink! To double trouble! To double trouble! Cringe, 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 cringe. cringe. Let's party! <clears throat> Police, nobody move. Oh, who would have guessed that a frat party gets shut down by the cops? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. The cops are walking inside? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, like I said, like every other fucking frat party. I dropped my phone. And no frat party is like this shit, bro. That you would be in a basement, and they probably wouldn't even come inside. Most of the time, the cops just stand by the door and make everybody leave. You two look a little young to be here. Let's see some ID. Bro, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. They didn't say shit. They just, they actually, bro, they, they, now they're in a holding cell. I don't have it. Then you walk away. I don't have it. My bad. What? Now they're in prison. What the fuck? This is a turn of events. 
And how the hell would he know how old that is? This makes no sense. Someone posted bail. You're free to go. Both of you. Really? Who? Don't ask questions. Let's just get out of here. Really who? Who else? Your fucking parents. What? A college party. Have you lost your minds? You're 16. Don't blame her. It was all me. I made her go. Yeah. About that? Look, I'm sorry, Serena. But I don't want you hanging around Summer anymore. What? You can't do that. We just bailed you two out of jail. I don't know what's going on with you. You cut school. You get caught drinking alcohol. And now this? Summer, this isn't you. But Serena, it's was... okay. Your parents are right. I wish I had someone to care about me the way they care about you. Maybe I would have turned out different. Don't you have like no. someone? I know you tried to ask me earlier, but the truth is, I have no one. You see, for as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be adopted. I spent so much time in adoption centers only to see other kids get adopted, but not me. Instead, I went from foster home to foster home. And they didn't treat me that well. I was more of a business opportunity to them than family. If somebody took my birthday money, bitch, it would be over. It would not. Nah, that's wild. Now nah, that's wild. You get it? Nah, that, bro, that uh, that made me fucking flabbergasted. He just took 100 out of the fucking birthday money. Nah. I was more of a business opportunity to them than family. I mean, that's an issue with a lot of foster homes is because they'll take on so many people more than they can or more than they should, then they don't really raise them right because they get the, the benefits of uh, having them. Don't you make money? You get money if you, if you are a foster parent, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. There's a lot of good foster homes, but I'm pretty sure they make money off of it. Yeah, tax deductions too. So that's why a lot of people, that's why there are shitty foster homes. Strange for the fringe bets. Love your content, usually on YouTube. Wish I could make the stream today. Uh, oh, I'm glad I could make the stream today. I wanted to start making content again. I feel like people in my school are going to say shit about me. What do you do? When I started making content, people made fun of me. I started TikTok in high school, by the way. I'm in college now, but I started TikTok in 2019, 2020. I was in high school. I graduated high school in 2020. They made fun of me like every fucking day. Then I got like... 200k followers, got some traction. Now, nobody gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, people are going to make fun of you no matter what you do. That's just how it is. Uh, cheesy for the Thringe Bets. When are you going to do another horror game? I don't know. I do need to play another horror game soon. Nick for the Thringe Bets. Little tip for not Monopoly by the Browns and dark blue cards. I'll ask you guys a bunch of that later. Okay, by the way, guys. I don't know why I'm whispering because JoJo's not in here. Later today when we do Monopoly... Can y'all give me every tip and trick in the fucking game? I need to win. Especially, JoJo's here? Fuck. JoJo's here? No, he's not. Don't fuck with me. Is JoJo actually in my chat? He's not. He's not. Oh, my God. I thought he was lurking. We need to win. Because if they put, we might put subs on the line. I don't know if we are. But if we are, bro, I'm going to need help. Or else I'm going to be shilling out subs. Not even to my channel. It's going to be another channel. Mech for the 300 bets. Foyer for the sub goblin for the 300 bets. <coughs> That'll be at like 7 though. That's in like 4 hours. My dream is to live in Iowa. Why? The pro and strawberry for the sub. There probably is nice properties and shit there though. And John for the 300 bets broke my toe on my dirt bike today. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. It for the sub. I hope it heals fast. Buy the cheaper shit first. I'm just about to buy everything I land on. It's what I'm going to trade for is that matters. Cheesy from the Fringe Bets. How to play against the whole Mexican family. I got absolutely destroyed. In what? 
Monopoly? What do you mean? I decided I don't want to be treated that way anymore. Oh, don't tell me so she I stabbed ran away. him. Oh. I never looked back. I wasn't old enough to get a real job, so I did what I had to do to survive. I'm not proud of those decisions. Wait, they ain't gonna see you stealing 45 cans of green beans? How are you how are you in an apartment? If you're not old enough for a job, how do you how do you how do you have a house? He, she was at your house earlier. But that's all I knew at the time. So you see You walk out of the Walmart with like a metric ton of fucking canned food and just like strolling, whistling <laughs> right past the Walmart guy that checks your receipt. I, I never had a family or even someone to love me until I met you. Clearly I ruined that. I'm so sorry. And you guys, you guys don't have to worry about seeing me again. No, Serena, please don't go. You're my sister. It's okay, Summer. I've been by myself my whole life. No lie, I feel like I wouldn't. If I had a twin I didn't know about, I probably would never be that close with them. Like, if you, if I met my, I know they're 16 in this. I'm 20 years old. If I met my twin now. Like, am I really going to be best friends with them? Like, I already got all the... Like, I, I don't need... You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to make another best friend. Like, I would be like, oh, damn, you're my brother. This is mad weird. You're probably not going to be best friends with them. You don't really know them. Forest Leaf for the three bits. Even if they're your brother, it's like you're meeting them for the first time. It's like a random person. Do you have any name suggestions for my cat? No, I don't really know what to name your cat. Goblin for the thousand bits. Can you play Dead Space when it comes out? What is Dead Space? Is that a scary game or a shooting game? Tiptoe for the fringe bets. Uh, one time when I was younger, I rode a dirt bike, forgot where my brake was, and stabbed my stomach into a fence. Holy shit. Last time I went dirt bike riding, I fucking had the dirt bike fall on me, and I was stuck in the middle of the woods, just, like, struggling. And I had to, like, weave out of it. I just had the dirt bike laying on me for, like, ten minutes. Racks for the fringe bets. First time donating, want to try and get relevant in your streams. By the way, my username is pronounced Rebs. Oh, Rex. Uh, Rex, but it's pronounced Rebs. Hit the box, and guys, somebody redeem that. Jovenik for the three best. Can you play My Singing Monsters? Never. No damn way you just asked, or Jovenik, no way you asked me to play My Singing Monsters. My Singing Monsters. What the fuck? Somebody redeemed Hit the Boxing Guy? Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. Wait, I can't play a copyrighted song. Where's funk? Gotta play funk music. Gotta play funk music to hit it. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, is that la is this lava lamp gonna fucking work?
Don't shake it. I'm not. I'm looking at it. BB for the sub. Cheesy for the fringe. You said, what, God of War? No. Dead by Daylight, maybe. Holy shit. Goblin for the fringe bits. Dead by uh, Dead Space is a shooting game and a scary game. It's a remake of the original. Maybe. Is it on Steam? You should play Mafia Definitive Edition on stream. The first Mafia game is really good. Holy shit. Should I make a game suggestion tab on Discord? Just so you guys can submit game suggestions. Because now I'm getting so many. Noun for the sub. Because I have a video suggestion tab. By the way. Exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord and send a video on the video suggestion tab for me to watch. Holy shit. That's how I find a lot of the videos that I react to. Anyways. I'm out of breath. That's so bad. I'm so out of shape. <sighs> Anyways. I should also make another tab other than the video suggestion tab for games. Because that makes way more sense. Rather than just having again. one. Take care. You need to play Roblox? Fuck Roblox. Noun for the sub. I'm so sorry we didn't know you. She was what? just crying. You just went from crying to fucking ecstatic. Well, my parents asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday, and I told them I wanted to see you. Somebody said we still on this shit video. Yeah, we're almost done. You're not celebrating alone, are you? No. Okay, maybe I was. Do your parents know you're here? I don't want to get you in any more trouble. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> we wanted to bring you your birthday gifts. You ever, you ever be like really sad and then you purposely make yourself more sad to feel bad for yourself? Like you ever be really sad and you just lean into the crying? Everyone does that. Don't, don't, if you say no, you're a liar. If you say everyone does that. It, like you'll be like so upset and then you'll like start playing sad music and you'll start like making yourself more upset like purposely i mean it's like cleansing almost that's what you gotta do when when it's your birthday and nobody tells you happy birthday start playing the bart simpson sad music just go on youtube search up a bart simpson sad compilation and then just play that bart simpson crying compilation uh music like these you gotta play these songs i feel so alone bart simpson rip juice world all girls are the same bart simpson these are the ones you gotta listen to do you think i'm telling people not to have a towel because deep down now nah, this one's better this boy really feel like john lennon i just want real Nah, you know people real dude. This had forty three million views. People dead ass watched this and they were like, "Damn, this facts. This is so relatable. This is so relatable." The truth is, everyone's gonna hurt you. You gotta find someone worth suffering for. Bob Marley. Sad as shit. Just listening to the fucking Bart Simpson playlist. Jesus Christ. I... Bro, it's like all the comments are so sad, too. They're all these sad ass quotes. Oh my god. This is well needed after a long day of hiding the pain. Bro, there's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. This is needed after a long day of hiding the pain. Bro, like, why not just listen to the song? We're really just watching, like, a, a fucking Bart Simpson getting dubbed playlist. Jesus Christ.
Sad songs 2020. Dude, I, I really... How the fuck is this a sad song? Oh, that song. Bart Simpson, he just he just he just resembles me, you know? Tiptoe for the Thringe Vets. Weave in for the Thringe Vets. Opinion on premarital hugging. Premarital hugging? It's blasphemy. Haley for the Thringe Vets. Me and Brooke will hold hands once a month, right? <laughs> well, me and Brooke, I you know, blasphemy. Me and Brooke will hold hands once a month, right? And that's blasphemous behavior. That's blasphemous behavior. No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> You sinner. Oh my god, you're defying. You're defying. You held hands? Ugh, you're defying God. Noun for the sub, BB for the sub, Lucky's for the Thringe Vets. You should play Mafia Definitive Edition on stream. Uh, Cheesy for the Thringe Vets and Alejandro for the sub. Gifts? I really wasn't expecting that. I thought you guys hated me. We don't hate you. After you explained everything, we felt really bad for everything that you've been through. We understand why you do what you do. But we just want you to know, you don't have to live like that anymore. Open your first gift. We want to adopt. Open, open your first gift. She opens it up. You've been served. We're suing you. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm actually one of those people that that serves. I'm 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 a server, right? I serve papers. Yeah. Now you've been served. You're getting sued. We want to adopt you, if you're okay with it. We really want you to live with us. Oh my God, are you serious? After everything I've done, how did you convince them? I didn't. <laughs> it was their idea. Really? You guys are being so nice. I know you're Summer's adoptive parents, but we're not even related. You will be now. Because what I- She ain't related to them either, the fuck? Like, what do you mean? What do you- I'm not- I know you're- I know you guys are Summer's adoptive parents, but we're not even related. Neither are they. I- uh, what? They're still- by blood, yeah, what do you mean? What I've come to realize is family doesn't require blood. It only requires love. Oh my god, the <laughs> foreshadowing from fucking minute three. And around here, there's a whole lot of that. So proud of you, sweetie. And we are very loving, but we're also strict. So I just want to warn you, if you choose to live with us, no cutting, no drinking, no going to parties. No, no stealing. Stealing? stealing. Oh, um, I just put that on the list, you know, just in case. I can do that. I'm just happy to have a family that loves me. So... I can do that as she says it. The 47 cans of green beans fall out of her fucking shirt. <laughs> I can do that if they all just fall onto the floor. Oh, shit. Where did those come from? What's in the second bag? Open it. No. A ticket to New York. New York City. No way. Does this mean we're going to New York for Christmas break? New York City where there's where there's people peeing in the in the in the streets. And 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 it's packed and it smells like poop. Oh boy. And we got to eat a we got to eat a euro. Yay, that's the only good part. That's actually the only good part. Bro, when I would go to track events in New York, eating those fucking euros, oh my god. Holy shit. You know what that means. Summer and Serena take New York. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it's true what they say about twins. Not only do they look alike. And the New York subway. Woo! Where crackheads don't leave you alone. They sh and you have to act like you can't hear them, even though when they're right next to your face pestering you. Woo! Yeah, the, the same, same mind. mind. 
Yeah. Euros? No, they're it's G Y O G Y R O. I think they're pronounced gyro. It's a type of food. It looks like gyro, but it's like it's like a kind of like a cone looking thing with like meat and other stuff in it. <laughs> Get in here. My girls. Can you react to something else, bro? This video's exactly over. Oh my god. We're going to the next one. Will people believe anything you say? Next. What if I told you all the power in the world could come from a microphone, a cheap suit, and a broken camera from the 80s? Some people will believe anything they see on the internet without having any proof. Is our society actually- oh, that's facts. If you say, if it's on Google, people will believe it. If even, even if it's so stupid, if it's on Google or it has a lot of likes or some shit, it like people, people will take that as fact. Even, it's just the trust me bro source, no matter what it is. You could be, you could be fucking spewing the biggest conspiracy theory. If it has 700,000 likes, people are gonna be like, damn, this shit's facts. Becoming more gullible? To find out for ourselves, we went out in public acting like the news to spread the most fake stories we could think of. Elon Musk is going to be becoming an official member of the KKK. <laughs> and we've also set up a real job interview to see if people will truly believe anything you say. And I'm currently a fighter pilot. Us here, we are with ABC. Currently a fighter pilot. News. I watch the news a lot. Do you think you have like a good awareness knowing like- Bro, no damn way they think this bull's from fucking ABC News. ABC News. He got the oversized purple fucking <laughs> the oversized purple fucking jacket, bro. No. That suit is way too damn big. I'm from ABC News. Bro, he looks about like 17. Do you think you have like a good awareness knowing like when you see something that you know is fake? Yes. I'll vary so much. Indianapolis government, they started building a plant that can control the weather. So they mess with the weather? The state of Maine is actually trying to secede from the United States, leave America, and join Canada. I don't think they should. I, you've been here all this time. Why leave now? So y'all gonna make it snow. The governor of Maine and Joe Biden, they actually had like a Snapchat streak together. And apparently the governor, I guess he lost the streak with Biden. And then he's like, yep, going to Canada. How you just give up so quick? 2035. Bro, I would be like, are you dead ass? If I saw, I don't get, especially if this dude walks up with me in his oversized fucking suit. I'm going to say, you're fucking, they had a Snapchat streak. Old people. Oh, God. The earth is just supposed to explode from the core. I heard that, yes. Do you remember when it rained? About three days in a row last week. Right. I that was remember. that was all. That was their first test run. Yeah. We don't give up quick, so why give up? They've now predicted in the year 2,105, the Earth will squish to the size of a pancake. Um, how do you feel? How we should control that? Definitely cut back our carbon emissions. But... If the Earth condensed into the size of a pancake, it would be a black hole. Bro just said reduce our carbon admission or emissions to fucking prevent that from happening. How the fuck would that have any fucking inkling on condensing the earth? That would definitely help. It has been a little cold lately. I don't know if they've been making it colder. The reporting and journalism we are doing today is very important. If it's not for people like us, the future generations of Americans are gonna be brainwashed. Uh Bro, I can't even take him seriously. His sh look at his fucking collar. It's so fucked up. It's like above his shirt. You have to put, you have to tuck your collar, then the jacket. Oh my God. I'm from a really small town called Milroy, Indiana. I've lived in Milroy since I was born. The city of LA, apparently the traffic gets backed up so bad. They are talking about raising the legal speed limit to 120 miles per hour on the interstates. What were your first thoughts when you heard about that? I said, oh my God. I was telling my husband, I said, are you serious? I said, can you believe that? Are you serious? I'm sure you're aware of the two can. Yo, so she's just making that shit up. Cause they ain't, did they fucking, they ain't fucking do that. I mean, people probably go 120 anyway, but they ain't going to make that the legal limit. And it's running for office right now in Milroy, Darren Watkins and Larry Green. Yeah. The YouTuber I Show Speed, I'm sure you've heard about him. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. He actually knocked out Will Smith. Yeah, I heard, I heard about that. And yeah, he she hear about everything at this point. She's, she's the fucking news fanatic. Heard about every goddamn thing that's ever happened talking about it. Have you observed flaws in Darren Watkins and Larry Green's campaign? You missed some bets? I did. Kratos for the fringe bets. Uh, you believe that I'm the Greek god of Riz on the Mount of Olympus. Uh, says don't try me two inch uh, bong for the sub 600 for the fringe bets. Cupid for the fringe bets. It's pronounced Yero. Yero and roll the R. Yero. Yero.
What do you mean roll the R? Yero. 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 Is that how you say it? It's not gyro. It's yero. Yero. Damn, I'm saying that shit right. That's a dub. Jovani for the 300 bits. These sisters are worse than Stan and Mitch. Haley for the 500 bits. Yeah, Stan and... Bro, I miss Stan and Mitch. That video game was the best. Steven for the sub. TOS for the 300 bits. Used to stream reaction to your Twitch clips. Alejandro for the sub. Tiptoe for the 300 bits. Weaver for the 300 bits. Uh, maybe one day, but not yet. Uh, for the Twitch clips reaction. Oh, uh, yeah. I just felt like there are better candidates out there. How is my... Yero. 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 Damn. That's what's talking about it. He said, you should have seen it. You should have seen it. I said, okay, yeah, right. Do you think Larry Green or Darren Watkins will take the stand in November? No. Um, I think time will tell, but I wouldn't be shocked if so. It's crazy the stuff that people will believe nowadays, even though, like, it's kind of also, like, obviously in their face, like, that's not real. No, it's not real. But a lot of people don't have that knack to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have told that lady anything I wanted to, and she would have just went along with that. Hopefully <laughs> the job interview we have later on in this video is just like that. You're familiar with Elon Musk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows who he is. Are you familiar with the name Adam Sandler? Yeah. Elon Musk is going to be becoming an official member of the KKK. Hmm. He's an odd Denver character. Office. He seems to be, like, somewhat Don't autistic. Don't defend him. Don't yeah. defend him. No, That's but, indefensible. But recently, over the weekend, he... Bro, you know what's whack? is the wife had to, like, tell him, don't defend him. Do not, do not defend, do not defend him. Like, like, he would normally defend that joining of the, the triple K there. Don't defend him. Do not, do not defend him. Don't defend him. That's no, but Why would he? But recently, over the weekend, he killed 42 people. Unacceptable, indefensible. Uh, I just don't know what to say. He didn't seem like the kind of guy that would do that. In my hands, I am holding a $3 envelope that I got from CVS, along with a $5 pair of glasses that I got from the gas station. These are the new Balenciaga sunglasses. It's a $3,000 pair of sunglasses, and we wanted to see how people would react to it. I'd love to see them. Be very careful. And these are for the adult men. How about that? It's very comfortable. Clarity is great. And the colorization is really nice. Oh, it's really polarized. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. The Polarization in those sunglasses are actually one of a kind. Those are actually the clearest sunglasses in the world. I could tell when I looked up at the glass. Yeah, like, no, it's yeah. beautiful. What if I told you that you could afford these very easily? Because these are actually $5 from your local gas station. Really? Yes. We've now Yo, made she feels like such a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Bro, the look on her face. She was talking about the colorization and shit. It's pretty clear that a fake news team is more than enough to bend the minds of our beloved American citizens. But will this lying ability be able to take you anywhere in life? We're about to go in for the job interview right now. Ethan's looking over this bogus resume that we created. But also, what he did that say? We're about to go in for the job interview right now. Ethan's looking over this bogus. Advanced Warfare Technologies LLC fighter pilot. Occasionally fly machinery in combat. What Bogus the resume fuck? that we created. But also, Ethan, we have one surprise for you. Before we go in there, you're going to be putting a shock collar on your ankle. On my ankle? I was wondering what that box was <laughs> in the house. I'm gonna start the interview at Pain. I have that exact shock collar. That was the one I used for my mill video. But it goes all the way up to 99. Oh, it was so bad. I put it at like 60 and zapped my neck, and it fuck. I couldn't talk. 600 for the thousand biddies says love you Joe. Thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, and scuffed for the fringe bits. Filling my gas the other day didn't stop automatically and overflowed. That's a thing. I thought most gas stations always just have that stopped. Uh, just for the sub and code for the fringe bits or COD for the fringe bits. I'm a small stream and I was wondering if you could raid me when you're done streaming. If not, all good. If you have the channel points to redeem, uh,
So I'm hired. But unfortunately, they don't sell these chips in stores anymore. Yo, what up? What's good, bro? Luckily, this dude named Gordo told us he had two of these chips laying around. And he even. Oh, oh I bought mine on Amazon for fucking $25. Because they just up priced them. Imagine, imagine scalping. Is that what the, the terminology is? When you fucking buy everything out and then up price it? Imagine doing that to one chip challenges. Not like a PS6. Imagine being the guy that goes to the store and buys out all the one chips and then fucking sells them back. Or the dude during COVID. Imagine being one of the people during COVID that fucking up-priced hand sanitizer. You gotta be the wackiest motherfucker in the world to fucking up-price hand sanitizer. The PS5, not PS6. My bad. Yoda for the sub. Rain for the three-inch bets. What's your opinion on the U.S. state of Virginia? Uh, I haven't been there in a bit. I've only been there like once. I don't really have an opinion. Offered to eat one on camera for us. I really do want to do it for the video. This was a perfect opportunity for me to monitor firsthand how he reacted to this chip. That way I'd know how to handle myself during the job interview. All right, so it's been a couple days since we called Gordo. We're about to meet him right now for the first time. What up, man? Nice to find What's up? Yeah, dude. Logan, nice to meet Logan? you. Logan? Yeah, but I've been calling you Gordo. Gordo, yeah, Gordo? yeah, that's perfect. Gordo. Yeah, I go by Gordo. Gordo. What's good, guys? You've never ate one of these before? I've never ate one, and I have seen videos of, like, people, like, going to the hospital. So, like, yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Imagine you go to... The, dude, people go to the hospital? Imagine going to the hospital and being like, I ate a spicy chip. I ate a really spicy chip. I'm going to pass out. The fuck? Literally, at, like, it was bad. Like, I was almost going to throw up, but I, w I never did I think, yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. I did almost pass out. I went because the challenge is not the challenge isn't just eating it. The challenge is not drinking liquid uh, after you eat it. And I got about four minutes in and I started blacking out like my I like not like blacking out. Like when you're like blackout drunk or some shit, like blacking out in the sense that like my vision was getting blurry. I started feeling like shit. I got lightheaded as fuck. I thought I was going to pass out. Are you making... Nice to man. you, bro. Yeah. I'm man. Oh, dude. I'm if he eats this in a parking lot, that's insane. Oh, my God. He's eating it in a parking lot. Come here. Act like, act like you're about to puke on these people. I need a... You good? Okay. Yeah. I'm cool. Get some milk in you, man. Oh, really? Uh, he's going to go prank. Bro, he's Excuse crying. Me, I just thought you looked really good. I was just wondering if I could, like, bag your number real quick. <laughs> Yo, first come party. I just thought you looked really good. I was just wondering if I could, like, bag your number real quick. It's first school project. Look at oh, it. I'm begging you. <laughs> take, take a drink. Take a drink. You probably need it, bro. <laughs> Is that Yo, he's just trying to risk somebody crying off the chip. <laughs> yeah, how's the milk? Oh. I don't think you're doing this, though. But no, I've got... I, it's fine. Boys, I'm sorry, but I like... No, no, you're totally fine. <laughs> you're totally fine. This is the first time we've hung out with him. Yeah. Do you... <laughs> you know, like, I, I gotta ask I feel you. so yeah. bad. Do you regret doing this? No, I don't regret it. No, dude. Yeah, he, he's doing good. Could you do a job interview after eating that chip? Like, while you were, like, at crying? I think I would more than get Bro, the job. I think it'd be promoted to manager. I've never... <laughs> not owned this. And then, when I really do want to go, I got the lady to do the... Brady's gonna go in. When is he gonna eat the chip? Is he gonna eat it in front of them? Hammer up. I'm gonna come in. Whenever I sit down with the lady to do the interview, I'm gonna tell her I've left my resume in the car. I really do wanna go. Oh, he's gonna go get the chip. I'm gonna come back out here and then I'm gonna eat the chip and I'm gonna sprint right back in. So they're not gonna know that I ate the Dude, it top. takes like a minute to eat the chip. It's so thick, and there's so much powder on this it. This chip inside of this job interview. Let's open her up. She's probably waiting in there like, this kid is so weird. I gotta eat this real fast and sprint back inside. The one chip challenge. Oh, dude, I remember the pain of that. And you just tank it. You eat the whole thing, you're like, oh, it's fucking nothing, man. And then the second you swallow it, you start freaking out. Mm. Mm. Because it just spikes. It's not even like spice. It's like pain. I it, like when you eat something spicy, you're like, "Damn, this is hot." It's like that past, like times a hundred. Like it hurts. It hurts. Mm. I'm literally eating as I'm walking back in. 
done that. So sorry about that. Okay. So my last job was actually, it was completely virtual. <laughs> Yo, that look at his face, bro. He was like, I'm fucked. Actually, it was oh completely virtual. God. <laughs> it's bad. It Because it, it's not like, oh my God. It's so different than anything else. Because if you eat a jalapeno, like what's something spicy y'all normally eat? Fucking Takis, hot Cheetos and shit. It's just spice, right? Like it, like it spikes and then it plateaus and it stays, it stays that same level. Or hot wings. It's like the same level. When you eat the chip, it's like, it's like a little bit of spice and then it plateaus while you're chewing it. And you're like, oh, this isn't that bad. And then it just keeps building. And it does it even when it's not in your mouth. There's no residue in your mouth. It just keeps getting worse and worse. And you start sweating and your face gets red and you start getting lightheaded. And it just doesn't stop until you drink water or like milk. Or you have to sit it out for like 30 minutes. It's so bad. I was living in Indianapolis. So do you think that you'll do okay as like a cashier? Yo, he, yo she probably thinks he's just nervous. He's literally crying. She probably just thinks he's fucking nervous as fuck. He's not going to get the job because he looks like he's fucking introverted. Yeah, I'm really... Because, like, I'm pretty good at talking to people, like, that I've just met for the first time. Like, I don't really get nervous like that, so I feel like I could be a good cashier, but... Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. He just said I don't get nervous, and then just said he was nervous. You don't have to. You really don't have to be. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It ain't that serious. Ooh, come on. It ain't that serious. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you have a work on Yo, bro, he's gotta tell her. There's no way he walks out and she just thinks this man was bugging the fuck out. Imagine getting this nervous for a job interview. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> So like I was a metaverse security guard. Mm -hmm. Basically, I would just monitor the metaverse. A metaverse security guard? What the fuck is that? Like players interacting with us. Oh my god, I hope he tells her. I really hope he tells her. Because this is going to be so awkward if he just gets up and leaves. No, you're okay. Oh my god, he's got to like pass out. Is there any day that you Sorry. He's unhirable. If this was not a one chip challenge and he was this fucking panicking, I'd be like, bro, I can't hire him. You're out of fuck. Where are they? She's wearing a total tan shirt. It looks like they're at a fast food restaurant. They're at a fucking Hardee's. Dude, there's no way you wouldn't get this job. So sorry, he might man. be the only person that didn't get it. Uh, um. Yeah. Okay, and is, or morning or night, do you prefer? Probably morning. I like to stay up all night and play video games, so. Okay. Um. I think I'm crying. How long have you lived here? <laughs> I lived there about a month ago. Is my mic muted? Is your mic muted? What, here? No, like, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I was just yeah. making sure. I didn't know if I was lagging. No. What? Bro, do you see how his fucking lips are getting swollen? That's what happened to mine. Yo, she's looking away. She's like, I need to get this man the fuck out of here. Can you come in here Sunday? Yeah, I could. Yeah, okay. that would work. Well, like, I, I'm ready to just, like, start yeah, right now. Well, I mean, unless you want to come back, like, 7 o'clock at night. Oh, no. I don't really want to. Okay. So I'm hired? Yeah. What did your paperwork? Hired! Hired! That was the worst interview I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, my God. Oh my god, no way it's that easy to get a job at Hardee's. Bro, he literally went in there crying and shaking, saying that he was nervous, and that, bro, he was saying that he wasn't nervous, then he said he was nervous, and he needs to be a cashier. He's crying, sweating, quivering, almost threw up, said he was a metaverse security guard, she still hired him. There's no fucking way. Work, and then, um... Oh, thank you so much. Bro, I about puked on her. It's so hot, dude. I mean, I was sitting there crying the whole time. And I got the job! I don't know if I'm gonna puke or what. I'm glad you guys got to watch me go through this. And Does he just call back and say, I don't want to work there anymore? Subscribe so you don't miss any more crazy. 
me when I talk to women. Is my mic muted? <laughs> no, I've never heard somebody say, is my mic muted in real life? Is my mic muted? Like, can you hear me? Do I need to turn my volume up? <laughs> Crazy videos like this in the future. Because you That's will if you don't. Hilarious. That is actually fucking hilarious. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot we had these. Man heats up food in his jacuzzi. Woman drinks and bathes in her own urine. All right, let's start with the chief's cake. Man, man heats up food in his jacuzzi. It boomer for the sub hot wheel for the sub Kratos for the fridge bets. Bro, that ass looks like my math teacher. <laughs> that guy eating the one chip. Boo for the five hundred bets and Hannah for the five hundred bets. Please have Brooke more on stream. Maybe another makeup stream. I'm going to have Brooke on for a stream for advice. Are y'all down for that? It would be me and Brooke. We would do a duo advice stream. You guys would just ask for advice and we would give it. She would probably give genuine advice. I would probably give shitty advice. I would probably just try and give the worst advice possible, uh, depending on the situation. Happy for the sub. We for the three bets. My girlfriend has acid reflux, so a Cheeto puff pretty much knocks her out. A hot Cheeto puff or a Cheeto puff? Cotton and Hanny for the sub. Cotton candy for the tier one sub for 23 months, almost two years, dub. Uh, Lie for the sub and I'm Poggers for the three bets. Would you ever collab with Darman if he wanted to? Uh, and 600 for the 600 bets. I want to spend my life savings on your stream. Please don't do that. Also, keep up the great work. Uh, you always make me and my girlfriend laugh. That's a dub. Uh, I'm glad I can help, but please do not, uh, please do not spend your life savings on me. Hanny for the sub. Uh, and tiptoe for the 300 bets and rain for the 300 bets. Uh, hope I'm more recognized. I'm glad you got rid of that whack ass hairstyle. What the one I had like two years ago and Kratos for the 300 bets. My dad picked up a puppy Chihuahua rather than a puppy golden retriever. Yo chat. Do y'all fuck with Chihuahuas? Somebody said, watch the video already. Uh, maybe fucking relax. Maybe, maybe fucking relax. You ever, you ever think about that? Somebody redeemed flex. Maybe, maybe I read the donos. Maybe I read the donos, right? Because people gave me like four bucks, right? And so I want to read that because they sent me $4 and I don't want to be a dickhead and ignore it. So I'm going to read the donos. You know what I mean? Uh, then we'll get into the video. Uh, Etkin from the Thrones. It's been sick for a week. Got two weeks off a of break. Uh, glad to catch up. and uh, But I have to catch up. Got a 90 on my honors geo midterm. That's a dub. And I'm sorry that you're sick. Uh, all right. Man heats up food in his jacuzzi. And I love Joe Bart from the 300 Bets. Watching on YouTube for a long time. Made a Twitch account so I could donate. Big dub. Thank you for the 300 Bets. Todd and I met on an online dating service. Todd was not paying for it, and I was paying for it. I don't think that makes him a cheapskate. Paying for an online dating service is almost always unneeded. I don't think that makes him a cheapskate. Plags. <laughs> I, I realized pretty quickly that he was different from. Do you know Plaque Boy Max? Why does that sound familiar? Is that a streamer? Uh, it says they're a streamer. I actually don't know them then. From anyone else I had dated before. One Christmas, Todd bought me Doritos and chocolate chips for Christmas. And I cried. Ba, 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 ba. Hard. <laughs> I think my habits did get to her after a while. She would sometimes joke and say that she was on the crazy train. You know, pun intended, since I drive trains, she got off the crazy train. But I'm running the train, like going straight down the track, and uh, I can- Eat a cough drop, your voice is getting better. Does it sound better? I'm slugging water. I've been drinking so much fucking water. I'm like slugging it. Slugging it. I think it's starting to sound better. Does it sound normal? I think it sounds normal. How many of these are unsafe to eat? Because my heart's like pounding. And I don't know if that's because of this. You can only eat like a whole bag. I don't think eating that many a day is safe. 
No, you don't. There's not too many you can eat. Like five. I've eaten like six already. Wild teeth of three inch bets. Watch the makeup stream. You got inches away from doing blackface. No, I did not. It was like red. It was red streaks and shit. Do whatever I want. Well, right now uh, I've got some uh, clothes. We were trying to do Deadpool or some uh, shit. I don't remember what I was trying to do. Jaylene for the five gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you, Jaylene, for the fucking five gifteds. I ate 20 in a day when I had the flu. Did you sound, uh, or did you have like issues or anything? It's just menthols. Yeah, but I don't know if that's bad to eat a lot. You're fine. You can eat however many you want. Okay. Then I'm chilling. Jaylene underscore you. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank them if you got a sub. But thank you for the five gifteds. Uh, in Ziploc bags. I don't and have. Kratos with three inch Play God of War 3. No, I'm not playing God of War 3. Joe, I don't that you can play God of War 3. I don't even know what that means. I have to put them in the washing machine. It actually kills the bacteria by having them in here. That way I save on uh, laundry detergent. I save on time. I don't have to use electricity to run my washing machine. I've had clothes since high school. Can you believe that? Okay, this is uh, a pair disgusting. of jeans. Okay, this pair here, I bought these 15 years ago. 15 years ago? I'll have the same pair of jeans for like a while, but 15 years? I would have had that shit when I was five. Just for the three. Why is the conversation, why is the conversation made to other platforms from TikTok to other socials is hard? Any explain. That makes no sense. Yo, chat, read this and tell me if this makes sense. Why is the conversation rate to other platforms from TikTok to other socials? Oh, conversion rate. Bro, I was reading conversation. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Conversion. Fuck. The conversion rate's bad just because it's short form content. When you're on Twitch, uh, you're dedicating your watch time to one or two people at max. YouTube, it's one video at a time. TikTok, in an hour, you can watch 100 different creators. So the loyalty is less. Having followers on TikTok means less loyalty-wise. Look at that. Because they don't watch you as much. Like, people on my Twitch watch me for hours a day. It's for the sun. Like TikTok, brand new. They might watch me for 20 seconds. Yeah. It's like, it's like I just bought them. The average refrigerator uses around 350 kilowatts of electricity per year. By tightly packing his fridge with clothes, cookware, and canned goods... Todd cuts his energy use by nearly 10%. Wait, but why is he putting his pans in the fridge? And his clothes. What's the per... Like, he doesn't need... What is it, for drying? Why does he have his pans in the fridge? Scent. The refrigerator doesn't... Oh, it kills bacteria. Oh, my God. And cycle on as much and it doesn't produce or uh consume as much electricity just pack up your fridge with uh, anything you can find i don't care i don't care that some people might think that some of my habits are over the top now i mean i got clothes in my refrigerator for god's sake i mean it's that's pretty cheap <laughs> the only thing i the, the thing i don't get about these cheapskate shows is the amount of time they spend saving money couldn't they just spend that time making more money than they're saving? Like, you're spending four hours a day saving electricity money, saving gas, saving whatever, right? You could just work more and then not have to do that, and you would have more money than you saved. Then you don't got to fucking deal with it. Thank for the 300 bets. Like, I understand saving money, but, bro, you're putting your pants in the freezer. You're putting your pants in the fucking freezer. Thank for the 300 bits. You can't play the original God of War because it's COS. Okay, well, I'm not playing God of War anyway. I don't know why people keep asking me this. You can't play God of War 3 on Twitch because it shows Hepatitis' is wife with no bra. You can show nudity on Twitch as long as it's not the center scene. Uh, again, I'm not playing God of War. I don't know why you're telling me I can't play it. I'm not playing it anyway. Hot Wheels for the 1,000 bits. I've been suicidal for two years, found your Twitch, and it helped me a lot. I'm glad I could help, and I'm sorry that you're going through stuff. I hope you find help with therapy or psychiatry or something like that. I hope it's getting better, uh, at least to a degree. Also, are you playing Forza Horizon 5? Uh, I do want to play a driving game soon, but I don't know when. That's one of the things about Todd is he doesn't care about comfort. He cares about saving money. 
Then why do you got a damn jacuzzi? Oh, don't tell me he ba- Oh, if he bathes in the jacuzzi, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Oh, if he washes his body like it's a fucking bathtub. There's no need for me to use the washing machine because it just costs too much money. I could just reuse the water right here. There's a lot of wear and tear on your clothes in the washing machine. I'm able to wash my- Bro, but then that fucking water's gonna be fucking murky as shit. Even if you got a filter, it takes forever to fucking get that shit out. Oh my god, that's disgusting. My clothes in here, my clothes, my clothes- Yo, please stop. Yo, chat, for the people typing lava lamp, I know. I know. The lava lamp behind me moved a little bit, okay? It's on fire. It's burning. It's not burning. Relax. It lasts for years. From a real estate standpoint, hot tubs are considered personal property and do not affect the resale value of a home. Uh, I just put a little bit of soup in my uh, plastic container, and uh, it, you'd be surprised at how quickly it heats up. I think people probably use their microwave every day, and that adds up to 40, almost $40 a month. $40 a month, bro, you are fucking saving maybe a penny, a microwave is like no energy, bitch, like no energy, you are fucking saving maybe two pennies a fucking day to fucking microwave your, or not even microwave your fucking soup, put it in your hot tub, it probably costs more, you're bugging, bro, oh my god. $40 a month is nothing for a microwave. Bro, you're really gonna go through all this shit to save that? If it was like a thousand bucks, I'd be like, oh yeah, 40 bucks? It's almost ready. Because my hot tub's not gonna add any value to the house, I decided to use it for multi-purposes, for everything that I can think of. It costs about $15 a month. To, to take a 10 minute shot. Yo! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, it's blurred. Okay. Or every day. And that adds up. By using my hot tub, I would say I'm saving about $30 to $40 a month. That way I don't have to use my appliances. I could turn off the hot water heater. This hot tub, I mean, it, this thing is a money saver. I mean, this is like a cash cow for me. I think it's a stroke of genius myself. I didn't even enjoy the car! Then you're just sitting there bugging about spending the money. Don't spend the money if you ain't gonna fucking use it. It's like buying shoes and never wearing them. Oh my God. And a lot of the sun just bleaches a lot of the plastic. But I don't get that in my car. My car is just perfect. I mean, it's as good as the day I bought it. I have no idea how Todd is able to drive in that car with all that plastic. He has no pride. <laughs> I was drying some clothes in the dryer, and I thought, why am I spending money when I can just, you know, put them in the back of my car and dry them in there? And, you know, he probably has that aha moment. He probably thinks he's a fucking genius. He's like, wow, he's drying his clothes. He's like, oh, my God, I could save six pennies if I just hung them up inside of my Honda. It's not worth it. I did it a couple times, and it worked like a champ. I think the clothesline in the car is ridiculous. Ty can afford to dry his clothes in the damn dryer. Oh, I swore. The average car in, on a warm day can soar up to about 150 degrees. It only takes about two or three hours for my clothes to uh, dry in the back seat. Air drying saves yeah, what time. What do you think Todd smells like? Probably chlorine. Seeing that he's bathing in a hot tub. He's bathing in a hot tub. He's washing his clothes in a hot tub. He probably reeks of chlorine. That's what he has to smell like. He smells like a pool. He smells like a fucking water park. Uh, 45 cents per load of laundry, or approximately $100 a year. I mean, to me, this is like really the only way to go. Each of my stops each day is oh, contingent. No, don't tell me he parks that far away so somebody don't scratch his car. ...on timing in order to get the best deals and the best bargains. Grocery stores usually discount near expired... You know, if the packages are broken open, I'll take a look. There you go. There's a deal. See that one broken? Yeah. You can have it for half price. What about this one? This one's looking a little brown. Yeah, go ahead. I'll take that for 99 cents. How's that sound? Yeah, it's kind of kind of, kind of cheap. Bro, what he is bargaining. Yeah, ain't that illegal to sell things that are open? That's facts. You can't sell opened products. Like, if you got, like, a package of ground beef and it was ripped open, 
you're they're not allowed to sell that to you even if they wanted to sell it they can't i don't think they're allowed i mean maybe because it's like a family market but i mean at a regular grocery store they're not allowed to do that you give me on that one i see a lot of i was haggling for some rotting salmon it's like it's been right. opened up that's cool 99 cents i'll take that for 99 cents. what is this 99 cent thing yeah. it's back in the 1950s okay well i'm just looking for a deal how old is this is there an expiration date on this one you want 99 cents 99 cents go for it why don't you just say a dollar? Don't tell me he's trying to fucking haggle that penny, too. Bro is, bro's waiting for the penny to come over, bro. Hey, oh, my God. Yeah, if I, you know, by the time I get 100 of these, I save a dollar. If I get 100, if I get 190, or if I get 99, 99 cent things, you know, I have enough to buy an extra one. And it's only going to take me another year. We save about $75 a month on expired groceries that most people don't want. And uh, I can save me up to about $900 a year. When I'm satisfied knowing that it's the lowest price I can get, then I buy it all, throw it in my freezer, and yeah, I'm, I'm living like a king. Do you have any free samples you're going on? You're not living like a king because your jeans are in the freezer. You're not living like a king because you have to move your jeans out of the freezer to put your fucking rotting salmon in the freezer, right? I got chocolate for the women customers, but go ahead, man, go ahead. Getting something for free, it's great. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can't think of anything else more exciting. My God, my God. I would not be able to fucking live like that. To have to always, bro, you can't microwave your food. You can't microwave your food. He doesn't use the stove either. He uses a hot tub to cook shit. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I feel like all of those are fake. Sam for the 300 bets. Uh, was wondering if you were playing Monopoly later. Yeah, it's seven. Uh, we're going to finish this stream probably around, like, 5.30. Uh, and then we will be doing um, Monopoly at 7. I'll end stream, and then I'll come back. What was that video at the end? What video at the end? What video at the end? Uh, and Monopoly will be later today, though. Yeah, Kratos for the 300 bits. I have long hair. Do you think I should cut it? I haven't cut it in three to four years. Up to you. Uh, Thunder for the 300 bits. Brady for the sub. Dominic for the 300 bits. Play American Truck Sim. No. I had it, but it doesn't seem that fun. Maybe when um when I have like one of those actual steering wheels. I love Joe Bart for the 300 bits. Uh, definitely better than YouTube on stream. Really? When's the next philosophy stream? Probably next week, maybe. I don't know for sure. Tiptoe for the 300 bits. Hepatitis. Joe, he's the god of forging. It's pronounced Hephaestus. Okay, same thing. <laughs> Snoopy for the 500 bits. I'm, I'm kidding. I know. Uh, but I'm not playing God of War anyway, so Hot Wheels for the 300 bits. Uh, all right, BRJ for the sub. Next one. I don't know if this is TOS. Woman drinks and bathes in her own urine. My name is Carrie. Let me do a quick Goog. Is that TOS? I don't know. It's educational. It's a TLC video. It's educational. Jerry for the sub. I'm 53 years old. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm addicted to drinking my urine. I don't believe that. I think that's beer. I think she's drinking beer. I drink it like I'm in a beer drinking contest. It's easier to drink than water. For the past four years. Easier to drink than water. I have drank my own piss on two separate occasions. It is ocean water, thick, warm, and dirty, though, right? It's not easy to drink. It's salty as fuck, okay? It's not good. So you telling me, oh, it's better than water. You're either lying or you're insane, right? It is not, there's no scenario where it's good, okay? Carrie has been drinking. Why have I tried my own piss? Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. The people haven't been here for the fucking story. <sighs> when, I was a, when I was a sophomore, junior in high school, I used to play Xbox and I was playing Search and Destroy. Okay, here we go. We're going to run through the story. Playing Search and Destroy. Hmm, I'm thirsty. Let me drink out of my water. I finished the water. Oh boy, I have to pee. The bathroom's pretty far. I'm going to pee in the bottle. I piss in the bottle. I put the bottle back down. Playing the game again. Mmm, I'm thirsty. Pick the bottle back up. Undo the cap. 
drink it without looking at it. Oh my God, I just drank my own piss. That's how it goes. I did that twice. Yeah, there's a whole YouTube video about it. Times I drank my own piss. These Here it is. The times yeah, 12 I minute video. Drank. 12 minute video. And it's also about the time that I, I, I saw shit at a Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, drank my own piss. It's happened. Okay, twice. Yes, I drank my own piss twice on two separate occasions. You're for the five inch bets. It's 3.12. I just woke up. What time is it for you? 4.14. Strange for the three inch bets. Quarter of the week. Don't give up on yourself. There's a reason why you started. Big facts. Nearly all of her urine. It started as just one glass in the morning. Now she consumes up to five. Dude, how yellow? Dude, that's beer. That's beer or you're, you're severely dehydrated. Am I wrong? Yo, yo, um, mods, can you like start timing out everybody that just says lava lamp? Like literally you're guys, guys, I know me saying this is going to prompt you guys to spam because that's how the mob mentality works here, but you're typing lava lamp for no reason. Okay. The, I understand the lava lamp's moving. Ooh, the lava lamp's moving. You don't need to tell me that. Okay. The lava lamp's moving. I know it's moving, right? I see that it's moving. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that the lava lamp's moving. I see that it's moving. It's working. Hooray. Zooms up to five glasses every day. Why is your voice hoarse? I lost my voice. I like warm. Dude, I, she says she likes warm piss. You, have you, when was the last time you drank water? She's probably just recycling. It's beer or she's recycling her own piss and just re-drinking it. At that point, it would keep getting more and more yellow, though. Warm pee. It's comforting. 2.3 liters of her own urine every day. Get the fuck out of here. 3,406 3, liters since her addiction began. Okay. The first time I drank my urine, I didn't throw up. And it wasn't horrible. So I thought, you know what? I can do this. My urine does smell, depending on Oh my, my god, age. she's fucking, it's like a wine tasting. fucking drinking that bitch oh my god today it tastes a whole lot different than it did four years ago sometimes it's salty sometimes tastes like plum champagne i want to see mm. your teeth maybe a little lemony you can taste different things going through your body there's certain things i don't like to eat anymore you're you're Your urine, your urine is you getting rid of stuff that your body should not have or does not need. You do not need to re-drink it. It's probably unsafe. Is it on? It has to be. Is it safe to drink your own urine? No. A healthy person who's fully hydrated wouldn't be harmed by a couple cups of his own clear urine golden urine on the other hand is not safe and it's full of microorganisms because they don't taste good recycled <laughs> i love 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 asparagus i won't eat it anymore makes the urine taste ooh, really bad Urine is your body's waste. It's what your body has decided to filter through and get get rid of. Did they got one of somebody eating their own shit? Let me give that a goog. Somebody does. You know somebody. Eight billion. How many people? How many people live in the world? Hold up. How many people live in the world? There's a counter. Right now, there's eight billion nine million nine hundred ninety-eight thousand people, with like th two or three people being born a second. There's someone that eats their own poop and enjoys it. TLC poop. I'm going to look up TLC poop. Oh, the lady that doesn't use toilet paper. I forgot about that. Y'all remember that fucking one? We watched that like two years ago. Holy shit. I haven't watched a TLC video in so long. Oh, God. Here we go. Two inch with a fucking TTS. Joe, I have a confession that I haven't told anyone. I am of age. Half a year ago was incredibly drunk and I had to shit. 
I don't remember much but I went to the bathroom and took a shit and was so drunk I ended up having to turn and throw up as and throw up as I was shitting but when I started puking I let the shit go everywhere and I shit all over the carpet and parts of the wall I then picked up the towel and washed it and then showered and went to sleep Quirks for the three bets. Uh, YouTube and most of your stream from November got done watching all your TikToks. Done. Uh, Goodly for the sub. Goblin for the three bets. Kidneys are deaf. Fuck. Definitely. Kratos for the three bets. Would you rather be the man of steel or god of thunder? God of thunder. So it doesn't seem healthy to me that to put that back into your body. But Carrie doesn't drink urine just because she loves the taste. Her addiction began two years after being diagnosed with cancer. I was diagnosed with malignant but how does that have to do with drinking her own urine malignant melanoma stage three and they took out 16 of my lymph nodes found cancer in three of them under this arm and they told me uh, with the chemo i'd have a year to live carrie decided against chemo instead turning to urine therapy ancient and long discounted practice to maintain health four that's a years thing? that's a fucking thing urine therapy is a thing later she still uses it to fight her disease she has never consulted a physician about her unorthodox treatment carrie has also found other ways to consume urine besides drinking oh brushing her teeth with it get the fuck out of here i'm done i'm done with this video can we move on i don't want to watch this oh god she's washing her face with it okay. with my eye open it's not easy because it burns this is a nitty experience oh she's putting it in her nose dude everything's urine every dude she must smell terrible oh she must smell fucking terrible holy shit at this urine therapy and seeing if it's hurting me and that would help my daughters when the doctor examines the mole on Carrie's back she's immediately alarmed so this is irregular in shape it would strike me as suspicious right away when melanoma does recur it tends to recur at a more aggressive phase and if it's not caught early it could kill you what is it you would suggest in terms of your urine therapy I would recommend taking a little hiatus for a while and I suggest a biopsy of that spot on your back. I'm very adverse. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me, lady. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you call yourself a doctor. I am never done drinking my own piss, okay? Urine therapy is everything to me. I, I drink my own urine. I sleep in my own urine. I cook with my own urine. I brush my teeth with my urine. I put it in my nose, for God's sakes. I have it in my eyes all the day, all the time. Right now, I'm sitting in my own urine. You're telling me to stop it? Nice. Then I'm wasting it. This has grown from a very sick place inside. If we cut it from out here, it signals that inside go bananas. Okay. Have you lost faith that traditional medicine could help you with your risk for recurrent cancer? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, I'm done with this video. Moving on. Moving on. Next video. Uh, Hot Wheels for the three minutes. What's your favorite dream car? Mine's a 2019 Zenvo TSR-S. Chat, what's your dream car? I'm about to look this one up. That is a pretty cool fucking car. That is pretty dope. Yoink. Um... My dream car, like, a, okay, I always say you have a realistic dream car and then you have a genuine, like, dream car, dream car. Realistic dream car, a Stingray Corvette, but probably, like, a beefed out one, right? Other than that, 
like a an unrealistic dream car like a Bugatti Chiron. Not because of Andrew Tate. I used to like the Bugatti before Andrew Tate. I know I know a lot of people always say, oh, it's Andrew Tate's car. No, it's just a nice fucking car. Sports for the sub, Aiden for the Fringe Bets. I'm the highest shit right now. Love your streams. How have you been today? Good. How are you? Uh, and Goblin for the Fringe Bets. Her pee is so yellow because the kitties are failing to filter it. That's what I'm... No, it's not just that. She's also re-drinking her own urine. There's less to filter. All right. Trying 100 life hacks in 24 hours. A Stokes Twins video. We haven't watched one of these in a bit. Definitely not going to get through the whole video, probably. But we'll try. Today, we're testing 100 of the most useful life hacks, like fixing a car with ramen, walking on water, unlocking a lock. It's not a life hack. Fixing a car with ramen. All right, that's a life hack. Walking on water. Not a life hack. It's not a life hack. Life hack makes life easier uh, in ways where other things that are harder to do said said task are unneeded right fixing your car with money annoying fixing your car with time annoying fixing it with ramen whatever fixing your car or not fixing your car walking on water that's not a life hack you're just walking on water using a match fixing a car dent using a plunger and many many more to start things off you can completely waterproof your clothes using ultra ever dry so first we're gonna test it on a suit that isn't waterproof <laughs> As you can see, I'm a mess. I already want to turn it off. I already want to turn it off. And now we're gonna. How many views does this have? 15 million. Oh fuck me, dude. Jesus Christ. Test on a suit that's fully waterproof. <laughs> and it doesn't work. <laughs> As you guys can see, the top is completely dry, and it even repelled the water. Now we're gonna take. That was a different cut. That was a different cut. What the fuck? You didn't have nah. Pop is completely nah. I ain't even fucking believe in that shit. Non-waterproof suit. <laughs> is this their pool? They're here all the time. Like, do they live here? Is this their own pool or is this like a hotel pool? All right, as you guys can see, he's completely soaked. Now, why do they have so many views? They're a kid channel. Uh, like five-year-olds watch them. We're gonna test a waterproof suit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! I don't know if you kid content makes the most money out of any f uh, out of any fucking form of content. If you make like shit that appeals to like children and they're like kid friendly, they'll have the highest CPM. They make the most money and the most views. Azulazo for the sub. That's why like all like Coca Melon and all those fucking companies make the most. You can tell on the camera, but I'm actually completely dry apart from my hair. Look at this. This is completely dry. Wait, can you guys tell? You can literally... Yo, what about oh. the inside of the suit? Oh, wait. It's coming out of it. But look at this. This is so dry. Oh, my God. Wow. Dude, I gotta start using these on my diapers. <laughs> I'm done. Can we, can we, can, can I, can I veto this video? I don't even want to watch it. I've I showered in this thing before. What the hell? So wine glasses break very easily like this. And if you want to make a wine glass completely shatterproof, all you need to do is put a sock over it. Oh, untrue. That is untrue. If you drop, bro, that's chance. If you drop a sock, or if you drop a fucking wine glass with a sock over it, it's still gonna fucking shatter. Now let's take this to the next level. Because the microfibers in the sock actually absorb Dude, no, no one cares. There's no way it works. There's no way it works. Probably a plastic car. We're gonna test to see if ramen can fix anything. We have a huge hole in this car, and we're gonna see if ramen. Yo, he doesn't look like he. He looks like he hasn't slept in like eight days. It, it's been. It's been weeks. He's the brother that doesn't want to do this anymore. They've been forcing him to do this. They filmed videos nonstop for fucking seven days straight and can fix that. All right, so after you get the ramen inside the hole, you add some super glue to it and let it dry. And after that, you sand it down. And for the final part, you just spray paint over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray paint of the car. That's gonna fuck it. Oh, how nice. Oh, brand new. It's not like you can just fucking see a weird ass blob. Wow. Now I wanna be- What happens when it rains? Surprised if that's how they actually repair your car when you take it into the repair shop. <laughs> For this next life pack, all you need is a carbonated drink, a hammer, and an L.
Uh, Haas for the sub. Uh, Hot Wheels for the fringe bets. I'm back again with another car. Did you know the Lamborghini made a truck? Uh, I think it's called the 1986 Lamborghini LMO2. Did they really? Oh, wait, no. Lamborghini made an SUV. They didn't make a truck. Why, why everybody say dub what that I dislike the video I got 200 bucks I want to spend it on you you don't need to spend 200 dollars on me bro please uh has for the sub or has for the sub uh we entered the cringe so here's cringe one royalty family hides uh and seek in the mall royalty family royal royalty family hide and seek in the mall Extreme hide and seek what? at the largest IKEA. What's up, royalty fam? How y'all doing? We are currently in. I genuinely think family channels are the worst channels on YouTube. The worst channels on YouTube. I don't want to see this. From the largest IKEA store in the world. This place is humongous. We're about to play extreme high and seek challenge with some amazing contestants. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. All right, the first contest the contestants being their own children. Yeah, we don't need no damn intro. Is that your fucking grandfather? Oh, yeah. uh, he paid me $20 to invite him. <laughs> Yes. yes! That's what I want to hear. All right, let's do it. Contestant number three goes by Jordan Matter. Let's go, baby! Oh, yeah! Uh, he paid me $20 to invite him, but it is what it is. Are you ready for today? I got this. I'm the oldest person here, so I got a lot of life experience. He looks like... Doesn't he not, yo, Joe, in 30 years? Doesn't he look like 25 or like 85? Like, I can't tell. All right, good luck, buddy. Contestant number four goes by a name of Sailor. Yeah, Every last every kid is gonna be intro. a company. Yep, get past the intro. That's the kid that made his own damn music video with fucking Fortnite. Oh my god. I could potentially hide in one of these closets, maybe. I'm he looks 35. At most, he's probably like 40. He probably just has some wrinkles. Do it. Okay, yo, I swear to God, I'm literally hiding in a closet. All right, y'all, the first place I'm going to is the food court. I think there's going to be a couple people there because it's Ikea. Who wouldn't go to the food court? Oh, no. I don't want to watch this either because, dude, he's going to walk past all of them. Hide and seek is the dumbest shit Together? ever. Together? Okay. Because you know how your husband thinks, and then we'll split the money. Uh, actually, I don't even know how he thinks. I oh, think that yeah. you should do it. You split the money. Split the money. It's already her money. She's a part of the family. They're fucking married. It's her money. What do you mean? Split the money for what? He ke she keeps the money no matter what. He said he's trying to take advantage of Bosni land, you see? A lot of people around me. I don't think they can find me. I'm literally in Bro, this kid is sitting in a closet. I I went to an IKEA like six months ago. If I went to an IKEA and I opened this closet because I want to buy it and this dickhead sitting in here fucking holding a vlog camera, I'm gonna say, are you gonna get out of the closet so I can fucking buy it or no? closet like bro what is that why are you playing hide and seek in an ikea most of the shit isn't even built you get kicked out for doing that i know somebody that did that the curtain might not work because it's kind of oh my god i'm not watching that i'm not watching that i'm not watching that i'm literally not watching that we'll watch this and then we'll watch this one and then we'll go to the fucking scary videos the death of laugh tracks and jovany for the 300 bets Jordan is my sleep paralysis demon in the corner. <sighs> the Drew Gooden channel is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> w. Drew Gooden, he does make good ass YouTube videos. Hey guys. <laughs> it's not that fun. So you may know I'm not the biggest fan of laugh tracks. A couple years ago, I made a video. I fucking hate laugh track comedies i fucking hate them i've ranted about them before this is the first time i'm ever seeing this youtube video big bang theory garbage Fro full house garbage friends eh okay not that bad the ones that are good the office or but those aren't laugh tracks parks and rec the office uh always sunny in philadelphia when they aren't laugh when there aren't laugh tracks that's when they're good nah motherfucker saying full house you got to get the fuck out of here if you genuinely like full house leave oh my god please please i don't care if that's an outtake if you genuinely enjoy full house 
you are an NPC. I, I don't want to be a dick here, right? But if you sit down and you're like, oh my God, Full House is on. I'm so excited to watch. You're an NPC, right? The show's terrible. It, it depicts the ideal American family where nothing ever goes wrong. They all love each other. Whenever there's a problem, they immediately forgive each other, which is just fucking blatantly false. And every joke is god-awful terrible. Laugh track comedies, too long of a pause, so they have the laugh track in between it. The joke wasn't even funny, but they have a laugh track right after it. Makes no fucking sense. Every time I talk about laugh tracks, I show this one clip. Hold up. Big Bang Theory with no laugh track is the worst fucking YouTube... It is the worst show you've ever seen. Ah... Nothing makes beer taste better than cool, clear Rocky Mountain spring water. Where are the Rocky Mountains anyway? Philadelphia. Really? I thought they were out west someplace. Think about it, Raj. Where did the movie Rocky take place? Now that I showed you this, every time you watch a laugh track comedy, that's all you're going to fucking think about. When you watch a laugh track, you don't realize the laugh track's there. You don't realize how bad it is with the pause times with the laugh track until it's not there anymore. Until you think about it. Once you start thinking about it, oh my fucking God, it's the worst show you've ever seen. Once you know, once you adamantly think about the laugh track, every time it comes up, it makes you want to turn, off, it, it turn the show off. And then the pauses. It's not a regular conversation. It's not how a conversation flows. Because they're just, they're just throwing in these fucking awkward laugh pauses. Place. Philadelphia. Okay, now I get it. So, this is the plan. From now on, we're just gonna hide out in here to avoid the shamey. I'm very comfortable here. <laughs> Penny, dear, why don't you shoot another silver bullet my way? Get one yourself. And, and their acting doesn't have the laugh track. So when they film it, there's nothing. It's just radio silence, and they have to have these weird-ass pauses. It sucks. Good comedies aren't laugh tracks. Because when you include a laugh track, it's the idea of other people laughing making you laugh. It's a cheap joke, right? If you laugh without a laugh track, it's a good fucking show. When the laugh track helps promote the joke, it's not that funny. Except for the sub beast and for the thousand bits. I watch Full House when I'm blacked out drunk. Well, then how do you know you watch Full House? Because you don't remember watching it. Goodly for the Thringe Bets. What about the show called The Middle? Not that bad, at, I, I guess. It's all right. Mix for the Thringe Bets. What's the worst show you've ever seen? SL for the three. When are you playing Little Hope Pookie? I don't even know what that is. Dude, for the sub. Uh, chat, what is the worst show you've ever seen? What's the worst show I've ever seen? Look at JoJo's stream. He's talking about you. Is JoJo actually talking Look about at JoJo's me? stream. A hundred thousand? Per. Yo! What's the average salary in America? $35,000. Medium is 52. That's wrong. Okay, 54. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong, JoJo. That's <laughs> wrong. wrong. That's median. That's middle. Or no, that median. No, oh my gosh, am I out of touch? Median is the actual one. Average is skewed by multimillionaires, JoJo. That's wrong. JoJo, that's false information. It's 35. It's yes. 35, JoJo. It's 35. No, it's not 54. Subscribed for eight months. He ain't talking about me. The fuck you mean? I'm going back over here. Called efficiency in comedy, where I not only... He's going to keep streaming. I'm going to end. I'm going to go eat, and then I'll come back. Complained about how Four unnatural monopoly. the sound of canned laughter feels while watching a show. But I also tested a theory I had had for a long time, which is that laugh tracks don't just grate my ears and make me roll my eyes, but they also lessen the amount of jokes you can fit in a show by creating dead space in between lines. So when I took an episode of Friends, for example, and edited out all the segments where no one was talking because it was the audience's turn to make noise, it worked out to be over five minutes long. And when the entire- Five minutes of silence? Just nothing. Per episode, just shh, just waiting for nothing to happen. So that means an average Friends episode without ads and without the laugh track, if they just actually had a regular conversation, it would be like 15 minutes. It would be like the shortest episode ever. Your episode is only- JoJo just called out your TikTok dance. Don't fuck with me.
Don't fuck with me. He didn't call out my TikTok dance. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> like that. He makes $16 million a year and he can't dance. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. He's not watching. <sighs> he's so fucking lucky. I'm calling him. Oh, he's so lucky. I'm calling, he's so I'm calling him. I'm calling him. I'm calling him on Discord. Hey, what's up, Joe? Uh, I heard you were talking about me. No, no, bro. I was, well, I mean, I was, but I was saying all good things. Oh, when I tuned in, you said I sucked at dancing. <laughs> Also, I do want I do want to inform you. The one thing I did say was uh, the average American salary in, is not 54. Uh, that's yeah, I thought it was like 35, right? Or 30? 35, yeah, 35. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I agree. Because it's, it's the middle that actually is the average because the average is skewed by like Elon Musk and like other millionaires, right? Ah, uh, okay, uh, what, what, okay. What, what were you saying about me? <laughs> what my, chat, about that? my chats, or I'm looking at your chat. And I yeah. hear somebody saying LMAO Jojo W lying. Bro, it, like, but bro, like, you gotta realize, like, my chat, like, my chat is well, a reflection a of me. Liars themselves is what you're saying. Yeah, like, the, you know, bro, like, like, you know, it's a, uh, a uh, like streamer, like chat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where we, we're all a bunch of liars. What I had said was, and I said you, I said you sucked at dancing. Yeah, but then you but... said something else. What else did you say? Yeah, nah. So what I so what so what I so what I said, um, me, what I what I said is that you started dancing, but uh you're a great friend and a great guy and a great and uh a great boyfriend, probably. I, I don't really know your relationship, but I would have, have to assume because you're such a great guy that you're a great boyfriend. So yeah. That's what so like like so like I told my shot, I said you you take the good with the bad, right? You're a you're you're a bad dancer but a great man. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like you keep tiptoeing around like you said something else. No, 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 bro. I'm, I'm, I, I'm too damn big to tiptoe in general. Like, I'm just too damn big for that. Like, I don't even like to tiptoe at all. For real, so. Tiptoe at no. all? Well, then, yeah, you're, no, then you're lightly on. stomping around, around, the, <laughs> you know what, what you said. Uh, well, we, well, someone said that you were watching uh, uh, the about the average salary thing. Yeah. And uh, to which I said that the first time we ever uh, talked. Uh, you sent me a document of you making sixteen million dollars a year and spit on me and called me poor. That's that's what, what I said. I don't make sense. What? Sixteen million dollars a year? You you think I make sixteen mil, bro? What the fuck? What am I? What am I, Mister Beast? God damn! I spit on you and call you poor, bro. What? <laughs> I uh. Look, man, I might have lightly fabricated a lie, okay? I'm, 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 I'm trying to go into 2023 with, with, with a lot of controversy, okay? Yeah. So you're just yeah. stirring so, some stuff So, you know. Up. Yeah, of course, of course. Like, again, like, I just, like, but, like, I, I literally only said that because someone said you were watching, and I wanted to see what your community was going to start spamming in your chat. So No, I know? literally, they said they were talking. Somebody was like, JoJo's talking about you. I pull up, you're not. I leave. And then I come back, and you are. And I'm bro, like, well, what the fuck? Bro, every time we're live at the same time, people are, people will come like that and be like, Joe's saying shit about you right now. And I'm like, bro, no the fuck he's not, bro. Every time. But yeah, I know, everyone's ready for a novelty in a few hours, man. Oh, yeah, no, I'm ready. I My chat's been giving me some tips. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how it's going to go, though. Because I feel like it's also luck. You know what I mean? Uh, no, and I believe it's literally all skill. And I highly I disagree. I feel like you're saying that, and then I'm going to clip this, come back and, like, three hours when you're like the first one out joe then, you're not you're not gonna beat me and yo, you're do you, wanna, do you wanna have like a trade alliance i'm maybe not gonna throw, yo yo I'll this throw, is literally yo 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 this is literally here, yo, yo 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 this is insider trading bro this is like illegal what we're doing right now how's it illegal because we're making we're making an alliance before anyone even knows this is insider trading bro yeah but it's not a guarantee it's like you know say you have like two oranges and you need another orange and i i might have it you know i could like mm -hmm. slide it your way in turn for like you know some something else useful right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I mean... and then i'm gonna put like i'm gonna put like a hotel on boardwalk and then when everybody lands on it they just immediately lose i mean i think that we can definitely strike up some deals 
You know what I mean? I think we can definitely strike us some deals when the time comes. I feel like you know you've mean? already made an alliance with other people. I feel Actually, like haven't. I've been here for about two hours, literally making my, uh, you know, you know, in my own little bubble. You know what I mean? Uh, I ha like, like I haven't even launched the game yet. Oh, make sure it works, by the way. Just a heads up. What? Because uh, when I, before my stream, my Monopoly, like you need a Ubisoft account for oh, it, yeah. and it like sometimes mm -hmm. it won't connect right, and then you have to like uh, uninstall, reinstall, it, resign in, shit like that. That's that right now, actually. What just to make sure? But yeah, it man. Uh, we're playing that at 6 p.m. So in about two and a half hours. All right, word. Uh, hey, man, I'll see you then, bro. I'll see you then. And I'll say nothing but nice things and that I love you and that you're so great. Mm -hmm, for sure. All right, take care now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Oh, he shit. knows. He's watching, yeah, he's watching, yeah, watching. I know. Watching him. He knows. He's waiting for me to fucking leave. He's waiting for me to fucking leave. He's waiting for me to fucking leave. Yeah, he's waiting for me to not watch him so he can say some shit. That's how it fucking works. Dude. Let that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, man. I thought it was seven. He's CST. I'm EST. It's seven my time. Really? I was about to start talking so much shit, bro. Oh, my God. Great. Yo, he, uh, all right. All right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro that's what every streamer does second you hop off a call you just pull up their stream see what they say right when it ends anonymous for the sub cherry for the fringe bets what flavor g fuel should i get uh hype sauce might have a sale going on right now i think my code for hype sauce can or hype sauce cans it might not be 30 percent. if you get a hype sauce tub uh code g code joe b is 30 percent. i'm pretty sure uh, but hype sauce is pretty good. The boys one is pretty good. There's a bunch of shit that's pretty good. Exclamation point G fuel code Joe B thirty percent. Uh, Mario for the three, uh, and meat for the sub. What kind of content would you remove if you had the chance besides family? Sub for the sub and beast and for the uh, the thousand bets. What's the worst content on social media or on YouTube? What content would I get rid of? Starting off, out of anything. I would get rid of the your fifth at shit on TikTok, right? Any video where it's like, you could have this mansion, these cars, all of these games, nice Wi-Fi. All you need to do is live with your sixth that. Are you doing it? I'm immediately getting rid of all of those channels, right? Every, every, I'm, I, all of those videos are gone, right? They're wiped off the face of the earth. I'm removing my memory of those videos even existing, right? Your fifth ad videos don't work. They don't exist. It would make it easier for me to find React videos because then my ads wouldn't be flooded with your fifth ad bullshit. Uh, and I just think it's cheap content, right? It's literally just farming engagement. Uh, geez, for the three bets. Only 21 minutes. That means you're looking at about a quarter of it having- Dude, I'm hype as fuck for Monopoly now. Now that I was talking about that shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm hype as fuck for Monopoly. Oh, should we watch a Monopoly strategy video? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that much of a sweat. No sense. Because if I lose, I'm going to suck. Sense at all. And I know that comedy is not a Lord race. It's sun. not about having the most jokes. It's about having... You got to do Uno, too. Uno would be a shit show. Uno would be disastrous. A four-person Uno, 7-0, uh, like, flop, switching the decks. Oh, my God. Good joke. If the goal was just... JoJo's looking up tips. Stop. Bro, he literally said he wasn't going to do that. Nah, you're fucking with me. Oh, no, he's on Monopoly right now. Okay, it works. Yeah, now we'll be able to have a six-person game. It'll be six people. I've only played Monopoly with four. Bro. Red and green property, okay? Orange, red, green. Okay, what's the second one? Light blue. Bro is the most writing light out a notepad. A notepad. He called you a loser, bro. He right, bro got the Microsoft Paint writing out the fucking writing out the fucking shit. What the fuck? No, he's not, bro. You're lying. Is he? Yo, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Stop fucking. Yo, yo, yo. Stop getting inside scoop of my fucking tips, bro. Orange. This okay, is your tip. Okay, this rail, is your tips. Rail, Orange, red, roads. green. Red is most landed is on. Key. Bro, you okay. you got rail the fucking what else? the third grade tips for Monopoly. More money. But bro, I feel like Boardwalk is like a uh, uh uh is a lost cause.
Oh yeah, no, Boardwalk's a lost cause. I'll talk. I'll 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 spit my shit about Monopoly when we start that that up. But uh, Boardwalk's a risky play. Most of the time, nobody really lands on it. Good lead for the fringe bets. Do you like Gabe Phase Ten? I've never seen that. That one for the Southern Lord for the sub. We got to get back to the reacts. Just to fit as many jokes as you could into like ten seconds. When you is would Monopoly just... starting? In two hours and ten minutes. Say them all at the same time. And it's, really like like it's, it's 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 and something tells me that wouldn't work very well. So that idea kept eating away at me until I finally took on the experiment. Two episodes of Friends, two episodes of The Office, one pen and paper, three cups of coffee, one mental breakdown, and a whole lot of pressing pause. Once I was done, I counted up all the jokes and was able to determine that yes, in fact, the show without laugh tracks had more jokes per minute, which means my hypothesis was correct and comedy is now objective thanks to math. <laughs> and when it's a j and here's the benefit of a non laugh track too. When a comedy like The Office makes a joke, why does Joe have so many viewers? It's January. In January I have in early January I have the most viewers out of every month ever. I don't know why it's a thing that happens. I guess you guys are off or some shit. Um January and August are usually pretty good months for me. Anyways, yeah, normally I average like 2.53K. JoJo's talking about me. Bro, I'm, I got I to gotta get this out. In non-laugh track comedies like The Office, when a joke misses, you don't notice it, right? When you're watching, when you're watching The Office and they make a joke and it's not funny, it's whatever. You don't, you stop, what, you, you just move on. When you make a joke in Big Bang Theory... And, and it goes, ah, in the back. It's a fucking miss. Because you realize they're trying to make a joke. But it's bad. It's a shitty joke. JoJo said you have a massive forehead. JoJo looks like Jack Black. All right, good night, everyone. Except... Not really, because I wasn't very thorough. I chose two random episodes of two different shows to try and prove my point, and I don't think that was enough. Every time I think back on that video, I think about an idea that I was really excited to test, but... <laughs> I kind of half-assed my way into the conclusion that I wanted to have from the beginning. So I decided to That's do this... That's a compliment? I mean, Jack Black is very attractive. Jack Black is a good-looking man. He also has a great personality. He's very studious. He's very studious. He's got the the nice mustache. That could be JoJo in like 20 years. He learned how to play the guitar. He's watching me. No, he's not. <laughs> Is he actually? No, bro, 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 bro. JoJo, JoJo. I when I when I said you look, he called you Mr. Incredible. Bitch, I look nothing like Mr. Incredible. You bro, I'm at nah, you're you're blowing my shit. You're blowing my fucking shit. <laughs> you look like Jack Black. Who else does JoJo look like? Genuinely. The beard and everything. He's comparing it. Bro, I'm comparing yo, he called you Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is way bigger though. He's massive. I'm not that big. Yo, no, Joe, nah. Where was that picture? Nah, now I'm literally pulling it up. Now I'm literally pulling it up. No, 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 no. Halloween costumes. That fucking one dude that looked like JoJo. Where is he at? This bro. Give it to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good shit, 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 good shit. Oh, he put LMAO. Okay, you're that's funny as shit. Nah, like that, like that one. Nah, I it doesn't really look like it, but it's funny as shit that my chat said it did. All right.
Nah, I gotta. I, now I gotta win Monopoly, bro. We're already starting the shit talking and shit before it even starts. That's how you know it's gonna be a fucking rough one. Bro, put dub. <laughs> I'm a Joe B for the sub. It does look like him. I don't really. He doesn't have that many look likes. Like it's like Jack Black and that guy. I don't really like JoJo. Doesn't really look like that many people. He did you dirty, is what his chat's saying. Fight back. He right. No way. He's telling me I look like the sham wow guy. I bro. I don't look like the sham wow guy. The fuck are you talking about? That man looks nothing like me. That man looks nothing like me. The fucking sham wow. The sham wow. Nah, what is he pulling? Oh, that really does look like JoJo. Oh, that really does look like JoJo. You're weird. That really does look like him. I don't look like that fucking sham wow guy. All right. I got to get back to the fucking reacts. Honey for the 300 bets. He looks like the guy with hair official TikTok. What? The guy with hair official. Hello, Dad, you are so rad, and I just have to say thank you for teaching me the things that I use every day. I don't think you will ever truly know how much I love you, and that is why in my own mind there is no one above you. That is not JoJo. That actually doesn't look like him. Like, I will actually say that doesn't look like him. What haircut do you have? Uh, I just generally, normally when I go into the barbers, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll say, you just give me that fuck me up, right? Like, just give me that fuck me up. They, they just sit there and I, and I say, you know, just cut my hair. And then they cut my hair. You know, I got that fucking spike. I got the side swish, the side shits. But why are people saying ice spice? Ice spice doesn't look anything like either of us. This again, but bigger. Six different shows, three episodes per show, 12 cups of coffee, and about seven hours of my life I'll never get back. Here's how it went. I didn't just want to choose more shows this time. I also wanted to try and pick different types of shows. It's the same two categories as before, but I feel like there's some- Yo, Malcolm in the Middle, though, is that a dub or an L? Mar Malcolm in the Middle kind of sucks. Malcolm in the Middle, yo, you know the worst show ever? The fucking Goldbergs. The fucking Goldbergs. Because that dickhead is way too old. The Goldbergs cast. That dickhead is way too old to be in Goldbergs anymore. He is 23. Playing like, what, like a 17-year-old? I'm like, dog, you don't look. Like, he used to look young as fuck, right? He, like, this is him when he's probably like, what, 16? He's playing like a 13-year-old or some shit. He used to look really young, right? But then, like... He got old as fuck. He don't look the part anymore. And that shit is so fucking annoying. The Goldbergs is, oh my God, the mom makes me want to die. The mom in Goldbergs, oh fucking hell, dude. She's so, I know that's her part, but it's, she is so annoying, dude. What is the Goldbergs? The worst show ever. Don't watch it. No, it's not the worst show ever. I don't know. Dude, Full House is worse differentiation within each one parks and rec dub Shit's creek seen an episode or two big bang theory eh. and i haven't seen how i met your mother malcolm in the middle and eh. the it crown i don't even know the it crowd i don't even know what the fuck that is so let's start with parks and rec it wouldn't be fair to say that parks and rec is underrated but i do still feel like it's underappreciated because it will forever be stuck in the shadow of its older more popular cousin like the office parks and rec was an nbc mockumentary that has continued to thrive due to its second life on netflix something i actually contribute partly to reaction gifts on the internet the characters in this show are so strong that you can look at a silent moving image of ron swanson without ever having watched an episode and know exactly who he is and now you got to know more about this guy so you might as well watch all 126 episodes Add in a bunch of home run casting Dude, they got some good yeah they got some good ass people in this show they got chris pratt they got the ron swanson guy they got aziz and sorry bro they got so many fucking good ass people they got paul rudd do they have so many people in this show? This is in a perfectly satirized fictional town, and you end up with one of the funniest shows I've ever watched. Because of the fast pace of Parks and Rec, I expected to have the most jokes per episode of any of the ones on the list. Bro, that's whack how many Marvel people are in this fucking show. 
but we'll see. I use two different random number generators to pick the episodes I'll be watching, which is what I'll be doing for the rest of the shows as well. Up next, Malcolm in the Middle. When I was like nine, my parents came home one day. Yo, these menthol, I'm starting to crave these menthols. They're starting to make my mouth taste weird though. Should I eat another? Should I eat another? I just dropped that. Fuck. Hold up. Yes. When is the scary video? We have this and one more and then a scary video. Cookie for the sub. With season one of the show on DVD. I didn't want to watch it because for some reason my dumb kid brain got this confused with Miracle nah, and Lane. no lie. I feel like these are making me lightheaded. I feel like if I eat another one of those, it's going to be the end of me. No, I'm not going to eat it. I need to eat food first. I'm going to eat food when I'm done. Two, a anymore. Disney Channel movie where Frankie Muniz resist. Oh, oh the menthols. The menthol, the menthol, and the menthol hard candies. Ah. This rolls down a hill. Luckily, that's not what the DVD was. How much money do you make streaming and YouTube? Dude, look how much I scratch the shit out of myself. Uh, not that much. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I make good money. Uh, I don't make 16 mil, though. JoJo was saying I make 16 mil a year. I do not make 16 mil a year. If you want to know how much I make, you can look at my social blade. I'll literally show it. I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't cap about that. That's my TikTok. Hold up. I got to show my YouTube social blade. About that on YouTube. Like, I make good money on social media. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be, uh, maybe a little bit less than on the YouTube end. Uh, cause it's a range. Uh, but cause my CPM's actually been getting lower. My views have been up though, which is good. But, um, yeah, no, I definitely don't make 16 mil a year. Uh, definitely don't make 16 mil a year. I make good money, not 16 mil. 60 mil, dude, 60 mil a year would be like, like Jake Paul, Logan Paul esque, esque views. And they don't even post. And we did watch like it. Markiplier. Markiplier makes 16 mil. Like that's, that's a 16 mil YouTuber. Oh my God, not even. Wow, he makes seven. I mean, I'm saying not even, but that's still a shitload of money. Um, but yeah, no. Like yeah, YouTubers make a shitload of money, but people either underinflate it or overinflate it. On how much they make. And I fell in love. You make about a mil a year because of Twitch subs, bits, sponsors, and YouTube. I mean, like, yeah, like, I would, I make good money. I don't know how much I exactly make. But, like, it's it's not bad. No, I'm not going to. I don't know, actually, the exact number. Nor would I want to share that. But, no, I do make good money. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't cap about that. I'm not one of those streamers that, like, acts poor. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of streamers that'll sit there and, and like, act like they don't make a lot of money. Like, just, you don't have to, you're not required to share how much you make with your audience, but, like, don't sit there and be like, yeah, no, I'm, like, scraping by. Like, fuck off. Little pancake for the sub, Mr. Egg for the sub. Love. For the next few years, I would rewatch these. Real for that? I mean, post-tax, dude, I get taxed out the shit, too. Like, like, a lot of people are like, oh, my God, you make so much. You got to keep in mind, too, it's social media. Social media gets taxed a lot because it's not a W-4, right? It's a different tax form. And so the money isn't taken out right away. So whatever you make, like most Twitch streamers are getting taxed up upwards of like 45% uh, of their salary, like per year. Like I like whatever I make, tax off about half of that. Episodes over and over again, wishing I could somehow watch the rest of the show because I like guess- Jojo, Jojo, Jojo doesn't act poor. Jojo, Jojo does not act poor. Jojo also only does Twitch and YouTube a little bit. TikTok sometimes. I was too stupid. Half? To wow. Well, yeah, that's just taxes. 39% federal and then whatever state bracket you're in. Realize they were still That's airing. That's why so many streamers moved to, I keep pausing this, I'm so sorry. That's why so many, you ever wonder why so many streamers moved to Texas? Uh, tax breaks. <laughs> no state taxes. Woo! No state taxes. New Jersey, New Jersey, you live in Jersey. You live in Jersey, New York, or Cali. You're paying federal taxes and like anywhere between three and 15% state. So you could, act, if you live in Cali and you're in the highest tax bracket of both, you could theoretically get taxed 49 to 51% of your income. It's a lot, but I mean, you're also making a lot. So I like, I don't sit there and bitch like, yeah, I get taxed a lot, but I'm, I'm like, I make, I'm in an opportunity that most 20 year olds are not in. So I'm not going to sit here and complain. I have state for the sub. 
bring it on TV. It is life advice, though. That's why a lot of streamers move to Texas. I always thought my parents were lying when they said they couldn't buy season two on DVD, but years later I found out it was never released. Turns out it would have cost Fox too much money to pay for the music licenses from the show, and so after the first season, they never even bothered. Anyway, I watched season one when I was nine, and reruns of season two through seven in high school. This show is so good, even in spite of the fact that one- Wait, Malcolm in the Middle has the bro from- has the dude from Breaking Bad? In spite of the fact that one third of every episode it feels like a weak distraction that's sometimes hard I to get invested in. Don't get me that. wrong, I loved Francis as a character, and I loved when he would come home and have interactions with the rest of the family, but in some episodes, it's tempting to just fast forward through whatever he's got going on. I think the reason this show stands out so much is because it wasn't about a perfect family where things always work out. It's about these realistic Yeah, like Full House. Fuck Full House characters who butt heads and end up in believably bad situations. A lot of the time the humor comes from how things don't work out even when it's- You're a dub streamer for no mid-roll ads? Yeah, I don't run mid-rolls. I, I tried to run mid-roll ads like ugh, maybe like a year ago. I just hated it, right? Because I would come- I, 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 would, I would run them when I would go run to the bathroom, but it was just like, yeah, I'd make- like if I ran an ad, right? If I ran a mid-roll ad right now, a minute mid-roll ad, I'd make 40 bucks. Real talk. I make 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. I, but I make enough money, right? I make enough money. I, I have Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. I'm not just a streamer, right? Like I make enough money. I don't need, I don't need to run mid-roll ads. XQC, like y'all, y'all, I'm not running a mid-roll. Stop trying to tell me to run a mid-roll. Um, but chat, listen, like when you see XQC or Hassan or someone run a, those six ads, you, you, have you ever been on a Twitch stream and they get like three minute ads? He has 60,000 viewers, and they run a three-minute ad. Dude, they're making like <laughs> eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars every time they press that. That's why they run. That's why they run so many. They just make a bag, dude. You have 60,000 people watching ads like easily. Like they would. That being said, I feel like Malcolm in the Middle was more of a slow burn rather than an onslaught of punchlines. So I'm curious. Yeah, no, the biggest streamers, Aiden Ross. Kai, XQC, they all run ads a lot. It's just how it is. Because most of the people that, uh, that file them aren't subs either. But I mean, like, most of the people in my stream right now aren't subs. But I'm still not going to run. I'm not going to spam run ads. I run pre-rolls. I run a, I run mid-rolls on YouTube. YouTube, I run mid-rolls for sure. But uh, Twitch, I don't. Or Twitch, I try not to. I have in the past. I don't do it. I don't. If I do it, I don't do it a lot to see how many jokes there are in here compared to the rest of the shows. The final single camera show I'm including is Shit's Creek. The reason I'm choosing this one is because I've never watched it. I feel like if I only chose shows I loved, then you know, I kind of like don't want to watch this. Can we move on? Not because it's a bad video. I've just already said everything I want to about laugh tracks. I already did my spiel. I already did my spiel about how I hate laugh tracks. I'm fine with moving on. I've done, I've done my dues. You know what I mean? All right, I got to piss real quick, too. All right, we're going to move on to XQC, actually, while we're talking about XQC. Good transition. Uh, XQC dash the worst Twitch reactor to ever exist. Uh, and then we're going to go into some horror videos. Then we're going to end, and I'll come back about an hour from whenever I end for Monopoly. Um, I do need to run to the bathroom, though, real quick. All right, hold up. <laughs> That was then, but then it's true. Get to the good part. All right. Next. All right. Uh, I'm for the sub. Sleepy for the sub. Hot Wheels for the three bets. 
Got a blast, but I'll see you in the Monopoly stream in my realistic car as a Volkswagen boss. Bus. Volkswagen bus. What is that? Grandma and Ev for the sub. Mr. Egg for the 300 bits. A little pancake and cookie for the sub. All right. Uh, XQC, the worst Twitch reactor to ever exist. This is a small uh, YouTuber, so we'll see how it is. Uh, if it's good, I'll definitely shout them. Show what a clip I sent in a mod challenge. A uh, mod lounge is about XQC. Uh, 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 this is XQC talking nonsense. You know, you like brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. As, you, as uh, you know, whenever you're like, like, you know, you like brush your teeth. Brush this, brush this, brush this, brush this, brush this. As, as, as you know, whenever you're like a human uh, and you're growing up. Um, and later on in my life, I was like 18 or whatever. I was like, you know what? Wait a minute. People brush their tongues? And that's how I brush my tongue. And now I'm not obsessed, but I brush my fucking tongue all the time. And if I don't have a, a little thing to do it, I do it with my, with my fucking fingers. Like, I go, and I'll make sure my tongue looks good. And so. He'll brush his tongue with his fingernails? Like... See, that shit's white as fuck. It's from these fucking menthols. Nah, stop. Stop, stop. It's from these menthols, bro. It's from these menthol fucking halls things. Don't... Nah, stop. Stop saying ill, bro. It literally, in the beginning of the stream, it wasn't like that. It's from those fucking menthols, bro. Stop. They're, bro, my tongue's white as fuck. It smells good. And I love that now. It won't come out. Epic for the sub. I, I fucking love that shit. I love brushing my tongue. I love that shit. And I also love brushing my lips. Like, brushing his you lips. You know, you like to brush your teeth. Brush his lips. Epic for the sub. All right. Oh! The worst Twitch reactor to ever exist. Oh, there's so much adrenaline, so much testosterone. Oh, oh, please, please, please! I take it to prison. I take it to prison. What? I do that though. I do that too. I love doing that. I did it. What is this compilation? And people like Pokemon getting banned because. Alright, so I think it's safe to say Twitch is by far one of the most dog shit platforms on the internet. You've got e-girls whoring themselves out for clicks and views, words like simp getting banned because they're quote, offensive, and people like Pokimane crying harassment over getting spammed with L plus ratio. Twitch is truly one of the biggest pals of dog shit on the internet, but I think the worst part about Twitch is its reaction streamers. And today I'm going to be talking... about who I think is the I okay we'll see if we'll see how it goes because he might he might make some points against me or just against XQC because XQC's reacts are way different than mine the worst Ride reaction the streamer I've ever seen which is XQC I'm assuming you knew that since you clicked on the video but today I'm gonna be going for a full content analysis and explain why this guy's the shittiest content creator Yo, should I try and scrape this shit off my tongue with a bottle cap Nah. Nah. What is that? What is that? What is it? What is it though? Nah, what is it though? What is it though? Stop. Stop saying ew. Stop saying ew, bro. It's the fucking menthols. You need to drink water? Bro, I've been drinking water. Zesty? What the fuck was that? It's plaque. I've ever seen. Well, he doesn't create his own content. He steals it, but we'll get in. Bro, should I go get a toothbrush? Should I just go get a toothbrush? Bro, come on. Fuck off. I'm going to get a toothbrush. Count me down 30 seconds.
How do you get it back there? Do I got to put this back? Do I got to put it that far back? Stop, bro. Stop. It's so... Uh, hold up. I got to wet it. Maybe that's it. Ow, bitch. This is what... Yo, nah. Yo, nah. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I almost threw up there too. Holy shit. <sighs> okay. Chief for the sub, Cosmic for the sub. Yo, Grumps for the swing vest. Stop with the tongue shit, bruh. Now it's good. Except all the way back there. Now it's fine now. Ryan for the sub, Epic for the sub. Sleepy for the sub. I'm blind. Bruh, I ain't even... Dude, I brush my tongue every once in a while. But... <laughs> I, dude, it's literally, it has to be from those menthols. It has to be. <coughs> into that later. Anyways, without further ado, let's just dive into this landfill. Yo! Curly Daddy for the fucking raid. Curly Daddy 101 W raid in the chat. Thank you for the fucking raid, Gideon. Big dubs, bro. You stream early. When do you fucking stream? Thank you for the fucking raid, Gideon. What were you doing? Chess? Been seeing you've been a little chess streamer recently. You getting better? Phil for the 500 bits. It's called Thrush. It's Bacteria Buildup. Wadzee for the 300 bits. My mom walked in and grounded me for a month because she thought I was watching this. You were just watching me brush my tongue. I stream twice a day. You stream twice a day every day. Do you just do chess? And W, uh, w Raid, by the way. Thank you for the fucking raid. Everybody go follow Gideon if you don't know who Gideon is. Curly Daddy 101. TikTok bro, big dab. Thank you for the fucking raid. XQC by far is the most boring Twitch streamer I've ever seen. The vast majority of his content consists of him letting other people's YouTube videos play while he puts junk food into his mouth. He has literally nothing. That's to why I don't eat. That's why y'all well, y'all always ask Joe, why do you not like eating on stream? I've eaten on stream before. I hate eating on stream because when I'm eating, I can't fucking talk. And so I just sit there. To the videos he reacts to and his content is not transformative in any way, shape, or form. If you don't believe me, I've assembled three examples of him blatantly stealing other people's content. My tongue feels so much better. My tongue feels so much better. It's like I just went to the dentist. Content without changing it in any way. The first video we're going to be taking a look at is called How New Coke Almost Destroyed Coca-Cola. The video was 30 minutes of his stream where he reacted to this video made by another YouTuber known as Emp Lemon. And the video was essentially a documentary about Coca-Cola. Now in my opinion, I think Emp Lemon is the best documentary channel on this website. He could literally be making a documentary about rice cakes and that shit would still be entertaining. The fact that he's able to make anything entertaining makes me believe that he's one of the most talented people on this website. Website. But on the opposite side of the spectrum, one of the most untalented people on this website is XQC. Anyways, though, get your thinking- I don't think XQC is untalented. I think his reacts are bad. I think XQC is very entertaining when it comes to gaming. Because he's he, he talks a lot there. Or he'll have a lot of good commentary there. With gaming, he that's his realm. That was his realm before when he was on Overwatch. He's a bad react streamer because he just eats when he does reacts. It's a similar thing to what Hassan does. He'll just eat a whole ass bowl of rice and just let a video play. I don't, at that point, 
I don't think that's that bad to do, but he shouldn't have made it into a YouTube video. XQC made the whole ass thing into a YouTube video while he's eating. Like, I would never make a react video into a YouTube video if I was just chowing down on food the whole fucking time. Emma for the sub. Caps on because I'm going to be mathematically proving that XQC's content is like, What's the biggest streamer y'all watch? I feel like for I feel like y'all are going to say Kai, some of y'all are going to say XQC, maybe Ludwig, me, Dante is bigger than me, so Dante too, yeah. You really, I'm the biggest streamer y'all watch. I'm not that big. Ah, damn. I feel like the issue with bigger streamers is the chats aren't as like. They don't really read the chats. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like very large streamers kind of just do, like, community chat polls more so than just, like, reading individual chats sometimes, which is, like, an issue there. Uh, Kratos for the three bits and for the sub. Dog shit. Okay, so XQC stops watching Amp Lemon's video in his reaction at about 28 and 47 seconds. Or, fuck, 28 minutes and 47 seconds. His entire video is 30. Why don't you just cut that out. Oh, he's probably doing one long fucking cut of recording voice. 31 seconds and 50, or sorry, 31 minutes and 51 seconds long. 3151 minus 2814 is 337, meaning he only added 3 minutes and 37 seconds of his own content to implement a video. 337 out of 3151 is 0.10, which means 10% of his video was actually his content. You know, I'm sorry, if only 10% of your video is- How much do you think is mine? Like in a YouTube react of mine, how much, how much of it, or a react, say a 10 minute reaction. Cause I make a 10 minute reaction into like a 40 minute reaction. I would say 40% of, of a video, like a react video of mine is me talking. I talk a lot and that YouTube, they cut down me. Like most of my editors, they don't cut down the video I'm reacting to. Cause you need that. They'll usually cut me down. Because, like, on a Twitch reaction, I'll pause every fucking 10 seconds. Judini for the sub, Mr. Weenie for the sub. Like, the, the Darman video we watched in the beginning of the stream, I, that, I made, it was a, what, 17-minute video? We didn't finish it until an hour and 10 minutes into stream? Because your own content, your content is fucking... Because you pause so damn much. That's what you're supposed to do. The issue, this guy's is complaining about XQC because he's not adding anything of his own. When you actually add shit, that's when it's not that bad. Horrible. And if I sat here and just let it play, I would be doing the same thing he does. Worst part is, this is when his creativity is an all-time high. Compared to most of his other videos, 10% of the video being his own content is actually pretty high for XQC. But that wouldn't be a fair- I don't think it is. I feel like now you're just- I, I feel like now this guy's just dissing him. ...statement for me to make without showing some other examples. The next example I picked out is called XQC Reacts to Fortnite Daycare by Dunkey. Now, Dunkey's another creator I really like, definitely one of my favorites. But in this video, XQC literally eats a whole entire hamburger while reacting to Dunkey's video. And once uh, he actually, that looks like a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Actually, that looks like a, a Chick-fil-A McChicken, or maybe a McChicken, or possibly a Chick-fil-A sandwich. That is not a burger. He eats a whole entire hamburger while reacting to Dunkey's video. And once he finishes up his hamburger, he says three words, and then Dunkey's video ends. Somebody in here, the squeaker. Wait, what the hell? No, all the squeakers. Eight, yes, I shit you not. He made an entire reaction video where he's... Well, him doing that on stream isn't bad if he's streaming for so long and he has to eat and he's just playing a video. But I don't understand why he made that into a YouTube video, right? Like, my shittier reactions, I'm not going to make into YouTube videos. I feel like XQC's editors just splice every reaction he has ever done and just put it on his YouTube. Like, how often does XQC post? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Like three, four, three, four times a day. I post three, four times a week. He posts three, four times a day. And I feel like most of these have to just be the, the React-based shit. He probably has like two gaming, two Reacts every time. It looks like mostly Reacts, actually. Batten for the 300 bets. Lil Bro's dissing XUC while XUC could buy his family. Well, yeah, but he's still he can still say what he wants to say. Just because XUC doesn't make uh, makes more doesn't mean he's not allowed to voice his opinion. I will say I think he's being a little bit harsh against X because this is him eating. Like when he's not eating, he probably says more. But 
Then again, I don't really watch XQC, and he shouldn't have made that into a YouTube video. He said a total of three words while reacting to a four-minute video. That is less than one word per minute. This is the worst fucking content creator I've ever seen. Hands down. There's no fucking comparison. Like, XQC is both the- Dude, I want to read the comments. This is really true. Never understood the appeal of XQC. Worst part is XQC. I'll literally use respect for other people who use his position of power to be toxic. Wow, most people actually agree. Oh, this video is old. I thought this video was new as fuck. Why don't you guys send this in the fucking Discord? Most terrible Twitch streamer and YouTuber I've ever seen. I'm sorry. This is like physically making me angry. He's taking actually good YouTubers and just stealing their content. This isn't reacting to videos. This is re-uploading them. And honestly, if I were Emplemon or Dunkey, I wouldn't copyright strike him because I feel like copyright striking is just a huge dick move under any circumstances. But I would copyright claim him so I could at least collect the ad I mean, my shit gets copyright claimed all the time. I th They probably do have copyright claims. Big YouTube. YouTubers have copyright claims on all their content, usually. When you off my you own might just video. just upload it for views and, and just engagement rather than actual money. Odd for the sub. Because Depends. that's essentially what he's doing. He's collecting ad revenue off of other people's content. And he doesn't even transform it in any way. Like, his idea of transformative content is interjecting one-sentence takes that can be easily summed up in a tweet. Like, oh, the Coke challenge is easy. Or, these kids on Fortnite are squeakers. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Like, I'm sorry, but I just don't get this shit. Like, how are people like, oh yeah, XQC, you're interjecting truly intriguing commentary. So The, the genuine answer is that his chat is, is the content, right? When you get large enough to where you have 60,000 viewers, you don't need to react. You let the video play and the chat will react. The chat makes it entertaining, right? You go in there, you watch the video, you look at the chat, scroll through all the emotes, all the comments. That's what makes it entertaining. It's also the idea that once you're so large... Once you're that large, like I'm big on TikTok. I'm, I'm, I'm decently big on YouTube and Twitch. I'm talking mega big on Twitch. Once you're at like 50, 60K viewers, it's almost impossible to fail. Almost impossible to fail. When you're that big, you could do anything and people will tune in. Because Twitch, as Twitch as a whole, there's millions of streamers or, or there's hundreds of thousands or millions of people that stream on Twitch. The top 2,000 people take 98% of the viewers, right? I'm rank 900 something. I have 4,000 people in my stream right now. Normally I average like mid 2Ks. I have a lot of people right now, but still, I don't have that many comparable to them. XQC at one time might have 1% of the entirety of viewers on Twitch, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's massive. And so when he goes live, everybody already is going to go to him because he's a stream of content that everybody knows. That's why, even if his content isn't better, it's what people know. And him having that massive audience does aid him in the sense that they give him content. Same with mine. When you guys uh, send me videos to react to, it makes my job easier. When you at me in TikToks, it makes my job easier. When you have some good comments, it makes uh, my content more entertaining, right? Like I understand I commentate more than he does, but you guys, dub in the chat, W chat, you guys also make the videos more entertaining because of what you say. That's why I don't do pre-recorded content to a degree. While my reactions are more raw, I also like the chat interaction, right? My YouTube videos and Twitch in general, it makes it more fun when you have people that are also adding their own opinion or their reaction as well, right? Because then you can play off of that. Johnny for the sub Kratos of the Thringe Bets. Would you rather sell your soul to live uh, and not get killed or go to the Lake of Souls and your friend has to get your souls and only gets three-fourths and when you die, you get denied in the afterlife? D uh, dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Would I rather sell my soul to live? Well, I'm going to die eventually if I'm selling my soul. What do you mean? Or get killed and go to the Lake of Souls, and your friend has to get your souls, and he only gets three-fourths, and when you die, you get denied in the afterlife. What? What do you mean three-fourths in the Lake of Souls? What, what are you talking about? Odd for the sub and for the Thringe Bets. Uh, Sawyer for the sub and Yo Grumps for the Thringe Bets. While I don't believe XQC provides much value to his reactions, the reason why people don't watch, uh, the reason why most people watch XQC reacts is because he streams so often and long that he becomes a comfort streamer. Yeah, a lot of people fall asleep to his shit. Like, out of the 60,000 people XQC has in his stream at one time, I would guess 8,000 of them are either away from their keyboard or asleep at all times. Um, but that I'm not saying that skews his viewership. He still has so many people in his stream, but it's just a lot of people probably aren't there. Your mic's hella quiet. Is my mic quiet, chat? I don't think it is. Gamer and sound for the seven, Broad for the sub.
such as these Fortnite kids are squeakers. It's not like I'm also watching the video you're reacting to at the same time, and I can see that with my own two fucking eyes. Another thing I want to add is that he does this very rarely, but occasionally he'll pause the video and interject like his one sentence opinion. Sometimes it's a little longer, but I think you get the fucking point. He doesn't really add anything, but when he does pause the video, his viewers are constantly telling him to unpause it in the chat. Right, it's like, whatever, dude. Like, okay, the young content, whatever. You know, everybody does it. It's whatever. Damn. Damn, chat. Does that seem does that seem familiar? I'm kidding. I know you guys don't do it that much. That's that's how you know when some when somebody comes in my. It's not all the time, right? Most of y'all don't bitch about me on uh me to unpause the video because you watch me for my rants and shit. But there is every occasional new viewer of mine that's like, just play the fucking video, and then I'm like, bro. This is, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm fucking talking. When people bitch to unpause, that's how you know they don't even want to watch the reaction. They just want to watch the video. At that point, just go watch the fucking video. I don't get that. My chat doesn't do unpause a lot because uh, I normally just interject all the time. Like, my viewers aren't used to me just fucking rambling for 30 minutes. Can you unpause? Yeah, now are y'all now y'all are gonna be dickheads and say, why'd you pause? Why'd you pause? Like, dude, how are you so somebody redeemed had said that? Not even bad. So fucking boring. Your own greasy as fuck though. Viewers don't even want to hear what you have to say. They just want to continue to watch the video you're reacting to. You know, now that I think about it, maybe you shouldn't even add anything to the content. I'd get more enjoyment just watching the actual video than listening to him give his opinions on it. But the thing I just truly don't understand at the end of the day is that, you know, back in the day, the most hated YouTuber of all time was Jinx. Everyone fucking hated this guy because, in their eyes, he wasn't transforming the content. Like the other day, I was scrolling through YouTube. Yo, does Jinx still make videos? videos yeah his work no i do commentary jinx was a reaction streamer or not a reaction streamer jinx was a reactor jinx genuinely just sat there and smiled or laughed or something of those fucking sorts oh is he not even on youtube anymore oh yeah he is wow he hasn't posted in so long i'm gonna scroll to his old videos i know somebody redeemed daisy showcase give me a second Counting my mom. <laughs> 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 Bruh. <laughs> Bro's a skinwalker. Yo, chat, would y'all watch me if that was my reaction to everything? Oh, shit. Oh my god, dude. I, I remembered him being bad. I don't remember him being this bad. Top of the top. Wow. Wow. That's off. That's forced. That's not like he's making himself do that. Because normally he would just watch that and not even speak. I'm going to go to one of his old videos. I will do the Daisy Showcase. Give me a minute. I want to get through this fucking Jinx. Dude, should we watch some of Jinx's old videos? Holy fuck. Dude, these are bad. Uh, just start walking towards okay. the Scott family. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, I just wanted to Hot potato. Yeah, okay. Let's see wow. what's up there. Pot tato. <laughs> oh my god. This just shows you. Yo, you know the best is there's people that do at my TikToks and do this. There's people that do at my TikToks and dude, I love it. They'll have like a thousand videos and they're like, yo, the for you page is just suppressing me. The for you page don't want me to shine. And then I'll look at their videos, bro. Every one just straight faced camera like this. They're just watching and they'll go. And like every fucking time. Like, maybe say something like the fuck. This ain't 2015 anymore. Content's easy. It's not that easy anymore. Just how ignorant and how slow 
people are in the world. Ignorant? What does that mean? Like, you can't. Ignorant. Put nothing past people no more, bro. Like, you can't, you can't just be like, that's some dumb shit anymore. Because people really be thinking that the dumbest shit is like, the, is like, right. It's crazy. Like, oh. hot tato. Who's, oh. and it was 14 people. What 14? Wow, dude, this is like I'm like I'm like actually baffled about how bad this is. Should we go to his most viewed? I want to see what his most viewed shit is. What's his best reaction? Try not to laugh. Five million views. Five million views. I bet he laughs at every single fucking one. Oh wow, it's, it, I'm it's solid. I am years. age restricted. Ooh God. You think there's gonna be something bad in there? Maybe we shouldn't watch that one. Hold up. Top. Spongebob in the hood. Two girls, one cup of ice. Try not... Oh, he's got a duo react here. Oh, this guy was also fucking famous. Who was he? Yes, my boy. You ready for the next? Hello, this is Lowe's. Show your people age. Video about... Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh. Cinnamon. Glozel. That's too much. Glozel. Alright, so here's the cinnamon. <laughs> Bro, no way this got that many fucking 3.7 million views for that. CJ is so cool though. Bro, what? CJ is so cool. That's his name. CJ's so cool. I thought you were saying he is so cool. Bro, 8 million. Bro, he got a fucking shitload of views still. Oh, he trans. Oh, he transitioned his content. Jinx didn't. He did. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, hold up. I'll go get Daisy. Y'all ready for the Daisy showcase? Then we'll finish this video. Then we go to the scary vids. Logan and HM for the sub. Eat for the sub. Cat for the, or Kate for the sub. Uh, Logan for the fridge bits. Uh, what you know about the alligator house? What is that? Gamer for the sub. Sound for the sub. Gamer for the sub. Um. Okay, I think we're caught up. Red Dust for the three minutes. Thank you so much for the laughter. You're the greatest streamer ever. Much love. Uh, hope you, Brooke, and your fam are doing well. Thank you. Hold up. Let me play some music real quick because I gotta go get my dog and I gotta piss. Count me down 30 seconds. I'm not even gonna turn the lights off. I'm running. keep streaming into monopoly because we're doing monopoly in an hour and 20 minutes we still have like three react vids i might just eat and we'll do like a long react vid while i eat i don't like doing reactions while i eat but i mean like there's no point in me ending stream i like like why would i end stream to come back in an hour i'm just gonna eat on stream we'll just eat on stream hold up here's my dog daisy come here sit down Look at her smiling. Claw. Eat that. She can't get out of the room. Look. Let's play. Hold up. Come on.
Yeah, no, we'll do that. After we do these reacts, I'll take like a two minute break. I'll go grab food and then I'll come back and we'll just watch. Uh, we'll watch like a long react bit or some shit uh, while we're waiting for Monopoly. Uh, Red Dust for the 300 bets. Just because there's no point in me ending stream. I'm literally going to be live. I'm going to be live again at 7. It's already 540. Uh, we still have two more videos to fucking react to. Like, at that point, I'd be gone for like 45 minutes. Yo, chat, one or two. I need to post on TikTok. Uh. One? Bro, first time y'all have ever said one in like a month. Holy shit. It's a miracle. It's a fucking miracle. Posting. Posting. Post it. Post it. Hold up. Let me check if it posted. It posted. Good shit. All right. Uh, mix for the three inch bets. Hyphy for the three inch bets. All right. Let's start it back up. You said we never pick one. You always pick two. My chat always picks two. Yeah, but I was really Are we still doing scary reacts? Yeah. Oh, should we just do scary reacts while I eat? Like to like a Mr. Nightmare or some shit? And for some reason, I went that. to Jinx's channel and like clicked on his most popular video. And I saw a comment, Jinx paved the road for these reaction streamers to walk. And that's actually part of the reason I made this video. I've never seen a comment so factual before. And don't get me wrong, Jinx's content was shit. But Jinx is essentially Allah compared to fucking XQC. No, no he's not! Dude, Jinx's content, dude, we just watched that shit. Jinx's content was by far the laziest reaction. That's reactions. It's not commentary. Com reactions is when you're just doing facial expressions, maybe like one or two words. Commentary is when you're actually like talking about it. At least Jinx actually adds reactions. How old am I? 20. To the video he's quote reacting to. XQC literally just sits there eating with this face cam in the corner. Like this is the stupidest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Sit here like this? He can react like that. You can just see him fucking chew. Chad, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start being a streamer. I think I'm gonna be a no face cam streamer for today, chat. Y'all fine with that? While I eat, I get a little nervous when people watch me eat. Are you guys okay if I eat without a face cam? It makes me nervous when people see me chew. <laughs> no, no, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. I'm fine. All right, we're. I'm, I'll, I'll eat on. I'll eat on my face cam. I don't care. I'm not, I don't actually get scared. To make matters worse, XQC is not funny and has no good qualities. Well, at that point, that's that's subjective comedy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is. Ooh. Tee hee, get it, guys? He's a grown man and he's being loud and freaking out over a video game. That's something. Oh, now he's attacking me. Loud equals funny? Now nah, I just get mad a child would do like dude are you fucking 12 so when it comes to humor xqc damn that sound yeah damn yo chat yo people being yo people being loud for no reason is literally like the most annoying thing in the world right it's like so annoying it's like why the fuck like you genuinely like you're just you're just being annoying for no reason right like you're sitting there screeching and like complaining and you get mad. Like, why are you mad, bro? Just chill out. You know what I mean? Just chill out. Just chill out, right? It's not that big of a deal. Takes, like, the loud equals fun. I get loud for a reason, though, I feel. Like, I'm not just getting loud. Like, all my TikToks. Okay, TikTok, different story. But, like, YouTube, Twitch, bro, I don't, I'm not just sitting here screaming for no fucking reason. Uh, Monoreek for the, uh, 300 bets. route, which is the same route all these little fucking kids comedy channels use, like Lily Singh or Lele Pons. When you're doing the same shit as Lily Singh and Lele Pons, you know you fucked up somewhere. Yeah, see, I don't understand when he does that. I don't understand, like, what is he trying to do? Like, he'll do that a lot. Like, he'll, like, reenact with his voice what's going on in the game. I don't- I, I understand it's comedy. Like, sometimes it's funny when he does it. But, like, right there, it's random. Like, sometimes it makes sense when he does it. Oh, 
Okay, stop. If you're not funny, then don't try to be. Being funny is not the only way to be entertaining. Comedy is not the only form of entertainment. You can entertain your viewers without making them laugh. Like, you don't have to be the funniest guy in the world to make good content. So if you're not funny- You fun need to be funny to be a top Twitch streamer. Or you have to be political. One of the two. That's a fact. If you want to be top five, if you want to be top five and you're not funny, good luck. Good luck. That's why, that's why he does that. If you want me to be real, yes, he misses a lot of the time. But, like, if you want to be a top 10 Twitch streamer and you're not funny, good luck. You're either hot, a political streamer, or funny. <laughs> or a mix of the three. Or a mix of the three. Boom, you're top 10. That's how it is, right? Nick A30, he's not top 10. Nick A30 is also family friendly. That's a whole different category of content. Uh, funny, then mo don't Moist Critical? Moist Critical is hilarious. The fuck you mean? You're saying Moist Critical? Moist Critical prides himself on being funny. People watch his videos because they're funny. He makes jokes. Two inch for the thousand bits. 500 from the 100K bit badge. Holy shit. Two inch almost at the 100K bitty badge. God damn. Try to be. But if you really. Like, let's look at the Twitch tracker. Let's 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 do it. Let's do a quick let's do a quick investigation here, chat. Let's do a quick investigation. Twitch tracker channels. These are the top streamers. We're gonna go we're gonna go English streamers and we're gonna go personality. We're not gonna go esports, right? We're gonna go people. These are King Walls for the ten fucking gifteds. God damn! Thank you for the fucking ten gifted subs, King Walls. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you, Walls, if you got a set it. Thank you. For the 10 fucking gifteds. Bro, we got to play a scary game or some shit together soon, bro. Oh, my God. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifties. Um, wow. Another fucking 10 gifted subs. Wolves. What the fuck? W King Wolves in the fucking chat. Go follow Wolves, by the way. W Streamer. One of the best streamers I know. Underrated. High quality streamer, play some scary ass games, some good ass reactions, W content. Thank you, King Wolves, for the fucking 20 gifted subs there. <gasps> Holy shit. Thank thank them if you got a sub. Thank Wolves if you got a sub from them. Big dubs. Thank you for the fucking gifteds. That's actually a lot. Holy shit. All right. Thank you for the fucking subs. That actually means a lot. These are the top streamers that are in English and are not esports, okay? XQC. Some people would say he's funny. Pestily, don't know. Landmark, don't know. Hassan. Political streamer. Kai, interviews funny. Summit 1G, big gaming streamer. Some people think he's funny every once in a while, but generally he's just good at gaming. Aiden Ross, people think he's funny. Maximum, don't know. Asbin, people think he's funny, he's good at gaming. That's one of it. That's how it is. To be a top Twitch streamer, really good at video games, funny, attractive, political streamer. Because I know, I know Hassan's the only political streamer that's up top. But there are ones that are like maybe top 100 down low that do do politics. And they're all, it, that's how, oh, that's how it is. Shorty for the sub. Two inch for the 500 bits, 100k bit patch. W fucking two inch for that too. Thank you for the 100k bit patch. And goodly flipper for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Damn. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Good in February uh, 23. Thank you, Goodly, if you got us up from them. And thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Wazi for the 300 bits. Says you missed my bits. I will look them up right now. And thank you for the fucking subs, Goodly, and 2 inch. Or not 2 inch. Wolves. 2 inch get, got the 500 bits. 100k bit patch. Uh, Wazi says, I'm getting a 32 inch 16 Ertz monitor. 16. Oh, it's 165 Ertz monitor for my birthday. My birthday is on the 6th of February. That's when my birthday is too. And congrats for the monitor. Uh, and mixed tie for the five gifted as well. Thank you for the fucking gifted subs, guys. Uh, and gals or non-binaries. Don't want to assume anybody. Uh, but goodly for the five. Goodly for the ten gifted. Two inch for the five hundred bits. Fucking mixed tie for the five gifted and King Wolf for another nine gifted subs. Holy shit! So many damn subs right now. What the fuck? Thank you for the fucking subs, King Wolves. Holy shit! Thank you. Really want to be known as the funny Big guy up. of the Twitch community, you know, the Twitch comedian. Simply dying in a video game and then going, Ah, oh, fuck, I died! Does not make you come off as funny, it makes you come off as a fucking retard. A little grumpy there. A little grumpy there. Nah, I brought like, Yo! Yo! Nah. Um. Ugh. Like, dying in a video game and getting really mad, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't get really mad every time you die in a game. But, like, when I'm playing Val 
and I'm getting shafted, I'm just screaming. I'm running around my room. I'm fucking mad, right? Yeah, I hype it up for the fucking content. If I was alone at home, I wouldn't fucking be screaming if I wasn't on stream. I would still be mad as shit, though. Ray for the sub. Pog for the sub. I think it's fine to upplay it a little bit, but not too much to compare to how your actual personality is. Never for the fringe bets. Uh, I am in countdown for the sub. And King Wolves again, thank you for all the gifteds. And goodly. Depends what game it is, I would say. Anything to the content. I just kind of rewatched some old Dunky and Emp Lemon videos, but there was something that really pissed me off about XQC's version of these videos. And that was that whenever I was absorbed into these videos and I forgot I was even watching XQC react to them, I quickly got grounded back into reality whenever I heard him take a bite of his food. So, what is my point? If you're not going to add anything to the content. You can hear him chew on fucking stream. If you're not going to add content, I would agree you shouldn't react. But that's also why. Like, when I do reactions, if I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn, I really have nothing to say about this video, I'll usually turn it off. Uh, if I have it on, I will definitely not make it into a YouTube video. Other than maybe, like, a scary react. Because a scary react, you're kind of just watching, but even then, I'm still talking. In the first place, at least mute your mic when you're fucking chewing. I don't want to be trying to focus on the video you're reacting to and hear... Oh, fuck. Fuck. That's so good. Mm. All right, well, I tried to do a little thing there where instead of saying, oh, the sound of him chewing, I actually ate something to kind of get my point across a little better about how fucking annoying it is. And I may have spilled chips everywhere, but you know, whatever. Okay, I'm done with this video. I, it was, I think he made some good points. I think he did shit on XQC a little bit too much there, uh, but he did make some good points. All right, now we're on to the horror videos. Do we turn the light off, chat? Do I go get my food? Should I go get my food real quick? Ray for the sub. Pog for the sub. Uh, I'll go get my food real quick. Because, well, I'm not going to end stream. We're doing Monopoly in an hour. I'm st I still have two, three more fucking scary reacts. There's no point in me ending stream. Hold up. All right. I might be, it might be like a minute. I'll be back. Or two minutes. I'll be back. My food's not ready yet. Dude, I almost dropped a knife on my fucking foot. I almost dropped a knife on my fucking foot. I dropped my knife down the stairs. I, this almost stabbed me. Oh my god. My food's heating up. It's, it's, I think it's done right now. I'll go grab it. I'm a Joe B for the three-inch There's so many coincidences that line up with, between me and you. We're both named Joe B. I'm Joe Bowley. It's okay if uh, you docked my name. And my girl was also born on February 6, 2002. That is very odd. 
Maybe we're twins. Maybe we're like twins from the Darman video. Hold up. Yo, y'all y'all fuck with that song though? I'll play another heat ass song. Hold up. I'll put y'all on to some good ass fucking funk music. Uh, we'll play this one next. All right, I'll be back in like 30 seconds this time. Y'all wanna y'all wanna see the dinner? Y'all wanna see the dinner for today? Y'all ready? Yo, you gotta rate it out of ten. We got I'll give you a review. For, starting off, we got some good ass green beans. We got some we got some baby potatoes. And we got some chicken tenderloins. And then I got just some straight up bread. I think it's a good looking dinner. I think it's a good looking dinner, bitch. Hold up. We gotta turn that off. Shadow for the sub. Or shadowy for the sub, rather. Thank you for the fucking sub. All right. Are y'all ready for some scary reacts? Oh, God. We're starting off with a bat. What if I'm eating and I get scared? What if I'm eating and I get jump scared? Bansa for the sub. Should we start off, should we start off with like a scary nightmare story or short story scary scary shit? Fuck. I don't know what we should start with. Death record. Oh, this one's age restricted. Fuck. 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 Mr. Nightmare, y'all want to Okay, some people are saying short story. Short stories for sure. We'll do a Mr. Nightmare after. We'll do a Mr. Nightmare after the short stories. Scary videos caught on ring camera. Actually, can we start on that? Because this is probably weird as fuck. Let's start out with this. Kratos for the 400 bits. I have another good song to put on after dark. I'll, 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 I actually have after dark uh, in my place as well. I have like every funk song ever. All right. Scary videos caught on ring cameras. We're going to start with this while I eat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed eat this. Yo, chat, you think I'll be done this whole dinner by the end of this video? Y'all better watch me scarf in the fucking top right. I Last time I ate on stream was probably a year ago. I don't eat on stream. If there's one thing I've learned from doing these ring videos, it's that having a drugged up person ringing your doorbell at off hours in the night is more likely than I would have ever thought. In this video, a confused looking man approaches a random porch holding what appears to be a plastic bag and- Stop a saying open the door. I fucking hate that video. Roll of toilet paper. Right from the moment he gets on the porch, you can tell something is off by his nervous, almost twitchy behavior. He needs a bathroom to take a shit in. That looks cracked out. It appears the man could possibly be on meth or some other hard drug. When the homeowner answers through the closed door, the man clearly has a hard time figuring out how to identify himself. And when his face gets close to the camera, you can see how dilated his pupils are, confirming he's definitely under the influence of drugs. Open the door! Yo, now I gotta play that video. Now I gotta play that video. Hold up. <laughs> that video is funny as fuck. Open the door! Open the door! Open the door. Open the door. Because he's just so close to the ring doorbell. He's literally like, he's like staring at it. Like back up. What the fuck? You're for the 300 bets. You should watch a Mandela catalog. That shit is not scary.
Uh, uh, this is um. Uh, my name is James. <clears throat> when the homeowner asks who he's looking for, pay attention to the name he gives. What are you looking for? Uh, Sosa. Uh, Sammy. The first name he gives is Sosa, and then Sammy. Sammy Sosa, like the baseball player. It might have been the first name he could think of while trying to come up with a fake friend he was looking for. What's your name? James. And who are you looking for? No, a friend of mine. No friend of yours lives here, buddy. And I got a Glock over here ready for you. So oh. if you don't get the... Bro, I'd shoot right through the door, bitch. I, I, I'd press that 12 gauge against the door and fucking blast it. Fuck off my porch. I'm going to unload it on your fucking face. Get the fuck off my porch. Why was he there, though? Like, do you think he was lost? Maybe he was just tripped out and he thought he was at the right house. The reason why he was trying to get into the house is anybody's guess, which is perhaps the scariest part of situations like this. The homeowner handled it perfectly by communicating through the door before opening it, and after catching on to the man's suspicious behavior, he made the man on his porch aware of the fact that he had a gun and was willing to use it. Why do you have toilet paper? You need to eat more on stream. It's a vibe. Do you all actually like when I eat on stream? Especially for eating together, maybe. John for the sub. Reaper for the sub. Jovany for the 300 bets. Open the door is Walter White Jr. What do you mean Walter Jr.? Oh, Walter Jr. from the door. Yeah, he has said that before. Even if he didn't actually have a gun, the threat was still an effective way to get the man away from his front door. This next one is really disturbing. The person who uploaded this video is neighbors with the actual would-be victim. In the video caught by the oh, ring... Oh, got that weird-ass purge mask on, too. It's fucking over for that. Camera. Three armed, masked men are seen approaching the front door to the house. The one in front armed with what appears to be an assault rifle. The masked man who approached the door keeps trying to block the view of the camera with his glove. Though there's no sound, it seems they're contemplating continuing their attempted break-in due to the doorbell camera. Based on body language, it appears the one with the assault rifle is apprehensive, but one of his accomplices motions for him to go back to the door multiple times. Since the camera was covered by the person- Why don't they just shoot the doorbell? Is that stupid? Why wouldn't they just, like, put tape over it? <laughs> they didn't bring, like, tape? I would have put tape over the camera. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You got duct tape? ...glove for most of the footage. We can't see what exactly they You're were doing for most it. of it, but luckily the homeowner didn't answer the- Yeah, too loud to shoot it, but tape or punch it, sticky for the 500 bets. ...door, and the three armed men were not able to enter the house. The following footage is viewer submitted. In the video, there's a man standing there in front of the house, cursing, seemingly talking to himself for 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, bro, Without a little background context, it wouldn't exactly be unsettling per se. But when you learn why the man is standing there, it becomes a little more uncomfortable. A family member of the homeowner was mauled by a pack of dogs and bitten at least 12 times. The man who owned the dogs came to their house and stood on the front step muttering and cursing for 15 minutes until the police came. Star Wars people, like, they don't even get that shit. They don't understand that six-day watch and shit, how this people fucking do. Never had a problem with her. Never had no issues. I've never... Whoa! I got a story. Y'all want to hear fucking story time? Same damn shit at the airport, bro. Literally like two weeks ago. Hold up. Two weeks ago. Or whenever I took my like little two-day break and then my PC broke, all that shit. Right before then. I'm flying back, right? I'm in, I think, Atlanta. There's this dude, right? And I'm at my gate. So I've already passed security. There's this man. No earbuds in. Nothing, right? I'm eating a bagel. I'm eating a bacon, egg, and cheese, right? I'm there for about 30 minutes eating this fucking bagel just sitting on my phone. He's walking back and forth, muttering. Like, hands in his sack. He had saggy ass. He had, like, saggy ass jeans. Like, oversized. Like, way too big. Not, like, sagging like he had his pants down. Like, they didn't fit him. He's, like, walking back and forth, like, muttering. Like, talking about how he's going to do this. And like some business deal, but he's he has nothing in his head. 
He has no phone in his, in his fucking hand. He has no earbuds in. Walking back and forth for 30 minutes. The whole time I'm there. Just kept walking back and forth. Eyes this wide. Just, yeah. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like, is he on something? But then I'm like, I'm in an airport, right? Like if this was like a New York City subway, he could be tripping out the shit and I would have no idea. But you're in an airport. How are you? How did you how did you get past security? Bugging. Like he was on like something, dude. He was like actually tripping. And then when I was getting on my plane, I look back. He was not on the za. He was not high, bro. That was not high on weed. That was high on like fucking DMT or some weird shit. He was talking to himself. Literally. I'm getting on my plane. And he's in, he's in a reclining chair in the airport, staring at a TV like this. Mouth breathing. And then started talking to himself again. That had to be meth. It had to be meth or something. But I was like, how the fuck did he get past security, right? Because he definitely had to do the meth before he went in. You didn't bring the meth on. They would definitely find the meth. Right? I mean, maybe not. I don't know. TSA is kind of shit. But I'm like, they would definitely find that shit. They didn't. He's high out of his fucking mind. Talking to himself. Eyes fucking bulging and shit. I'm like, wait, he's about to blow up a plane or some shit. He, he looked like a normal dude too, but he was tripping. He had to be on drugs. Dodge for the sub. Swirl for the sub. I didn't say anything. Never should I have told nice. someone? I feel like I should have told someone. But I didn't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? Hey, that guy over there has been talking to himself for the last 30 minutes. The workers don't give a shit. The workers are going to be like, okay. <laughs> the workers are going to be like, okay. Like, <laughs> like, whatever. Who cares? Unofficial for the three bets. I want to say I've been watching you for, uh, watching you since you saved a viewer from suicide on Rocket League. You're one of the coolest streamers out there. Thanks for the entertainment. No problem. And I do remember that uh, stream. There was like a whole video about that. Uh, but thank you for the 300 bets. They don't do sobriety tests? Yeah, but they'll do drug tests sometimes. Do you ever get your finger swabbed? I always get chosen for that. Do I look sketchy? Every time I go to TSA, random drug swab. They swab my hands for like Coke or some shit. Like, what do I look like? I do? I snort coke or something like that? Right, none of that. But there they were. But that's and how he was talking to himself. You look like you sell math. How do I look like I sell math? When the hell did I can threaten her? When the hell did I even make like she thinks I don't know where she lives? I've been knowing. I've been knowing. The man seemed unstable just from the video alone, not even factoring in the fact that he owned a pack of untrained, aggressive dogs. This one is a great example of why situational awareness is so important. A couple's ring doorbell video caught a duo of wigged, armed aggressors who had been following them home. What are you doing home. Monopoly in less than an hour? In like 55 minutes or so? Duck for the sub, dodge for the sub, pickle for the fringe bets. I know that meal's good as fuck, it is. The couple said they were why you chew so hard? Because I eat fast, bitch. You got a problem with it? Why you chew so damn hard? Sorry. I'll chew it like I'm eating a bag of chips at 4 a.m. Walking home when a man and woman started following them all the JoJo's way- JoJo's downloading cheats? Fuck off. Wolf for the five gifted. You can't download cheats on fucking- You can't download cheats on fucking- On fucking Monopoly the fuck out of here he's watching a middle ground video we gotta watch a middle ground video we haven't watched a middle ground video in a bit chat y'all trying to watch that one day wolfman for the socks this video sucks i'm changing it we're going to momo if i get jump scared here though i'm probably gonna shit my pants and throw up because i'm eating i don't like momo momo really Momo really scares me. Nah, we gotta watch this video when I'm done eating. We gotta watch that video when I'm done eating. I'll shit my pants. I will literally shit my pants. No.
not Momo, bro. I can't be eating. I can't be eating when that shit plays. It's over for that. All right, we're gonna watch the manor first, then Momo after. I'll be done eating by the end of this video. What is this? The manor. Momo's too much? It's not too much, come on. Momo's just a childhood scary thing. Somebody reading how to that? I don't even got one right now. I got that hair sticking out in the back of my head. Y'all got calyx? These never go away. They just sit there. Sometimes I'll play with them. They're so annoying too when your hair's grown out because they won't stay down. Lisa, can you give me a hand, please? Be a man. Be a man. I'm about to turn subtitles on. That's just fine as hell. This is so sick. Why does she sound five? Oh, yeah. This is the one. Are you ever playing another game like Blood Shore? Yeah, an FMV game, definitely. Wallow for the sub. Laura? I'm eating too damn fast. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. Seriously, look at it. It's. I'm deciding whether to add this really cliche scene. Oh yeah, what's that? You know, when the guests first arrive at the house and you see a figure from the window. Yo, can I turn on? Can I turn on? Oh my god, there isn't closed captions, dude. This video is so quiet. Yeah. Somebody redeemed totally the rant. Cliche. Oh my god, what? Why would you deem why would you redeem rant while I'm eating, dickhead? But hey, it's your movie. Do whatever the hell you want. Can y'all hear them talking? I feel like it's quiet as hell. Do it after, I will. What are you eating right now, chicken? Chicken hey, tenderloin, Andy. lemon pepper. Hey, Laura. So, where's Lucas? I thought he came with you. No, he was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. Let me call him. Hi. Uh, can I speak to Lucas Ferraro, please? Oh, congrats. Four? Another will be on Killer's mind. Oh, thanks, Andy. Your clever camera tricks certainly help. Oh, darling. I'm just doing my magic. <laughs> but this one... It's gonna be on another level. Yeah, it's really something, isn't it? Yeah. So he's gonna be late. But he said we can go right on in without him. <sighs> really? Isn't it locked? Apparently not. Hey, uh, where's Lisa? She's. Well, I got she two was... monk cheeks of chicken right now. Yeah, minutes ago. Hey guys, I think she's inside. Lisa! Lisa? You in here? Who you think dies first? I'm gonna go white guy. Okay, you two look around, take photos, make notes. I'm gonna go find Lisa before she runs up an insurance bill. Okay, sure. All of them die? Well, no shit. Which one first? The Asian guy. Bro, what if I have to poop during Monopoly? 
I should get a poop bucket. <laughs> Cut a hole in my stream chair and just take a shit on stream. Nah. Y'all just see me? Oh my god, that Darman video. Oh my god, that Darman video is so stupid. Hold up. I start sweating. Are they looking for a ghost? This is just weird. Now this room makes it on the list for sure. What are you thinking? All right, who shit I'm my pants? Thinking... Chat, who did it? This room is perfect for TikTok video. Oh god. Boo. Uh, oh, this chicken's not sitting very well, chat. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. How, how long will Monopoly be? However long it takes. Monopoly game could last anywhere between like an hour and four hours. I doubt it lasts more than three. Oh my god. Lisa, is that you? Not eating while this carries. Lisa! Lisa! I don't know. How long do y'all think the Monopoly game will last? There's six people, and we're all streamers. We're all probably not that good at Monopoly, though. Six people, it might go by actually pretty fast. Eh. I would guess two and a half hours. For the end of the game. For whoever wins. Rocky for the three. You, never, you ever eat chicken and it's so juicy that it feels raw? Yeah, I hate it. Oh my god, just go turn your fucking car off. I have I'm to off. go back to my car. I won't be alone. The ghost is separating all of them. They're all far apart from one another. She dies first. No, she'll see it first. Somebody said, wow, split up, smart idea. Well, they don't know that anything weird's in the mansion yet. They don't. That was her. That was her. What the fuck? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh my god, that oh, her gasp scared me. How'd you get up here so fast? What? Chris went looking for you. Didn't you see him? No. So who are those other people out there? Nah, he about to die, bro. Like, they have body doubles for some fucking reason. Guys, I'm lost. Bitch, break out the window. The second I hear somebody whisper in my fucking name, I'm dipping, bro. Guys, I'm lost. 
Damn, crazy how there's a window that's very breakable. Why are they recording? I think they know it might be haunted. I don't know. It is weird that they're recording the whole manor. I feel like we missed the intro because I was fucking chowing down on my potatoes. What the fuck is going on here? Do you know the way out? Um, it should just be a left at the end here. Oh, they're filming a movie. Somebody saying, nah, that's scary. This isn't that scary. Dude, this bread's dry as hell. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear the piano? Look how dry this bread is. Bro, can it focus? Dry as hell. It's like, a, I'm eating like fucking saltine crackers and bread form. It's probably crisp. Let's it's good, room but now. it's dry. That was a bad idea. All right, we're good. I got it in my cheeks. I can talk like a chipmunk. We're good. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Second I see a door close, I'm out. What's going on here? How the fuck is Mara? it dark outside? Nah! What the fuck? It's gonna be some shit with long ass fingernails. That's what every goddamn uh, paranormal thing is. <laughs> Little kids laughing? Uh uh. Yeah, go in the really dark, scary room. Yeah, go in there where you're the laughing from. Bravo, 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 bro. Yeah, actually, first person to never do that. Now he's probably still gonna die anyway. Fuck this. Freaking hell, Lisa. Yeah, he's gonna, get, he's gonna get pulled in. He's gonna get pulled in, Come bro. On, where are you? I'm waiting for it. You gotta fight yourself? You gotta fight a fucking body double? Oh, nah. Why were they outside of the house, though? See, I don't, I don't get that. Hello? Where the fuck is he? He's in the kitchen. Anyone here? Oh, he's about to get stabbed. Oh, don't tell me he dies first. Get a tissue, Jesus. Andy. That's not them. That's not them. That's not them. Do not go forward. Do not go forward. Turn the fuck around and run away.
What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh, what was that? Dude, do you see what I mean? Every time it's nails. They always show their fucking nails, dude. What was that? Uh-uh, bro. Some long-ass hair, too. Uh-uh. Big-ass hands. I'm the fucking grippers. First, though, we don't know if he died first. Laura, oh, I died. Real from the side. Bubble from the side. Guys, she's annoying as shit. I hope she actually dies. The one girl, the photographer, is going to be the one to make it out. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> 40 seconds. <laughs> Where'd you go? Her. That's not her. That's not her. That's not her. Shh. Look. Oh, they snapped her neck. Yikes. That wasn't that scary. Real for the sub. Now we're about to hunker down. Now we got to hunker down, chat. We got to watch Momo. Everybody ready? I really don't want to watch Momo. I really don't want to watch Momo. We're going to watch it. Oh, the rant first. What was the rant about? We'll do the rant first. Shadow for the fringe bets. Are you ever going to play Red Dead Redemption 2 again? No. Sorry, I've just said that like a million times. I am not playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. It is over for that. It is over for Red Dead. Last piece of chicken. Last piece of chicken, chat. Dumb. It's cold as hell now. Hold up. Let me bring this back down. Give me like 10 seconds. Water. I had a fucking water. Where the hell did I put my water? Hold on. Tell me down 30 seconds! Fuck. Alright. You're Canadian for the sub. Holy fuck. What the hell is the rant? If you were in the ocean swimming and a shark was swimming at you, what would you do? There's a boat far away and you have a knife. I'm in the ocean swimming, and a shark is at me. They're swimming at me. What would I do? There's a boat far away. Well, I know that if a shark is swimming at you, you're not supposed to turn away from it because that's when it'll try. It'll definitely eat you. It's the same thing with other predators in the sense that if you turn away from them, that's when they attack. So what are y'all doing? You're, you're swimming in the ocean, a shark's coming at you, the boat's too far away to swim to without you at least somewhat doing something. If the boat's far, I would start back swimming towards the boat while facing the shark. I would never leave my eyes off the shark, right? I would hold the knife in my hand, 
Every time it swam at me, I would stab it probably in its gills or try to stab it in its gills. <coughs> or maybe its eyes. Because then it would probably circle back. By the time it would circle back a bunch of times, I would be by the boat. Or I would just die. and Or maybe kick it. I would probably try and kick it and stab it while I'm going towards the boat while I'm looking at the shark. Otherwise, you're dead. Like, that's the only plan of action. Or you just you just accept your fate, right? Because if a shark's coming at me and I have a knife and the boat's too far away to just get to before the, the shark reaches me, I have to at least fight it for a little bit. Far hat for the three-inch bets. May not seem like a big deal, but listen, when you play Monopoly, choose to play on the living board instead of the regular one. The gameplay experience is 10 times better. Oh, I know. The living board is the 3D one. Or, uh, yeah, the 3D one. That's the one we're definitely going to play on. The one where you roll the dice and it bounces on the board and everything. Yeah, that one's dope. Monopoly's at 7, right? Yeah, in about a half hour, we're going to hop on a call. It's probably going to take a bit to set up because we're all going to have to friend each other. Uh, but in a half hour, we should be playing Monopoly. Uh, or should be loading up Monopoly, at least. Right now, we're still on just chatting just because we're waiting. Uh, everybody, I'm, I'm the only person I think EST. Most people are CST or PST, so they stream at different times than me. Uh, me and JoJo actually stream similar times, but we are different time zones. All right. We got Momo. Y'all ready? Is Monopoly going to be for a YouTube video? Do you think I should make the Monopoly stream a YouTube video? If it's good, yeah. I mean, it has to be good content. I don't know how it's going to be. I would assume it'll be fun. It's just dependent on how good it is. Not sweet for the sub. Um, The only other thing I would say or ask you guys is should I make Blood Shore a YouTube video? The game I played yesterday, that I think I should make a YouTube video. That one was hilarious. The one with Gav, and I was like, Gav, honey, you'll be okay. That one will be a good-ass YouTube video. That was a good fucking, that was a fun game. That I would definitely make a YouTube video. All right, we got Momo. I went through the uh, the pet, wait, what did, what did Crucible say? I went through the pet slideshow. There's two times more dogs than cats. Yeah, why did you include so many cats then? Uh, not sweet for the sub. You had so many cats. It was still good, but it was a lot of cats. Yo, chat, think bar. Now we got to eat a protein bar. I still got this bread left. I might snack on this bread while we're playing Monopoly. It's very dry. I don't want to eat it all at once. What time is Monopoly? Seven. In 28 minutes, I'm going to hop on a call with them. Or around then. Is when we're going to start hopping on a call. It's streamers. You got to remember it's streamers. Not everybody's on time. Momo. This is where we got to lock in, chat. Oh, God. Why is she just standing there so fucking weirdly? Is she Momo? No, she's not Momo, bro. What the fuck? Does she have pants on? Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Why does she look normal in the fucking mirror? But I... Three hours earlier. Okay. I knew that was definitely not the start. I was going to say, why is she already hey, acting weird off rip? Want... I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you for everybody saying bless you. Cameron for the fringe bits. You remember me, Cameron, about how you've been. I missed a couple of streams uh, because I've been working, getting bread. You know, you don't got to you don't got to explain why you've been missing streams. If you miss streams, you miss streams. That's fine. Uh, and I remember your username 
but not you specifically. Joe Bart for the 300 bets. You are a big, great, big, big Bart man, bro. Thank you. Thank you for the 300 bets. What was what the fuck was that? Did my sneeze look weird? I lagged. <laughs> Dude, I stare at my light. Do y'all do that? When you have to sneeze, you just stare at a light and then it makes you sneeze. Cameron for the fringe of it says bless you. Thank you. This is actually going to be my longest stream ever, chat. That I've ever done. Because, I mean, I'm, a four-hour stream is pretty average, but we're playing Monopoly after this. So this might be like a seven-hour stream. Because normally I'll end and then, like, come back later. Detroit Becomes Human was a six-hour stream. I would assume that this might be longer. Bitch, I'm immediately shell-shocked. I'm fucking running away. She's standing backwards in the shower. Why would you investigate? Why the fuck would you investigate? It's Momo. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, she's going to have that weird-ass face, too? Stop. Yeah, or punch it. Or deck the shit out of him. Bro, she's shaking. Uh-oh. Don't keep doing it. Don't keep doing it. It's going to look at you. One of the times it's going to be looking at her. It's behind her. Oh, no. Was she right there? I thought she was in the corner. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. Dude, I'm getting nervous as fuck. Why would you not grab your boyfriend? Wouldn't you grab the another person? Dude, like I'm I'm getting Brooke. If I see if I hear this, I'm immediately being like, wake the fuck up. Even if she doesn't help me, I it's still the idea of like another person knowing that I'm about to go to my impending doom. You're just gonna oh! Nah, she look weird as fuck, too. Uh-uh. Uh, uh. Nah, she look goofy. She don't look like regular Momo. Yeah, she look like goofy Momo. Why are her eyes so bulgy? <laughs> Babe, 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 what's There's wrong? There's someone in the house. What? There's someone in the house. There's someone in our home. Hold on. Look, 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 look. I'll pull up my eyes. Look. Look, look, look. Nobody's there. What are you talking about? She's standing right there. She? Babe, here, hold this. Look, I'm going to go check. Just relax, okay? You need to calm down. Why would you not walk together? Bro, she's going to be in the closet. Oh my god, she's going to be in the fucking closet. Babe. Look. No one's here. Die! Oh, fuck. Shit! Oh my god, bro. They can't be doing that. They can't... <laughs> Bro, go out the window. What are you closing your... What are you covering your fucking ears and staring at the ground? Either help your boyfriend or fucking leave. What are you just sitting there? Dip! Ah, 
Ah, it's Blinken's weird as fuck, bro. Out the window. Yo, I'm taking a knife and I'm chopping her dumbass fingers off, or I'm fucking out the window. Leave! Oh my god. Oh my god, you're not safe. You're not safe, though. You're not. Oh, now you, now you go for the window. Now, no, okay, no, okay, no, no, no. Now, you, now you go for the window. When, when, when they're in the room, when they've made it into the room and they could get you before you get out of the window, that's when you go out of the... Yo, chat, stop saying yacht. <laughs> oh, damn, she actually made it out. The fuck? I'm screaming for help. She ain't catching me. The fuck? I'm gonna get somebody else to see that shit. I need to rewind that. Really hit that penguin waddle. Why is there one car? Why is there one singular car? There's one other car all the way the fuck over there. There's no other cars in this fucking parking lot. Why? Where are you? Back rooms? Why is it so fucking deserted? It's in the car. Just fucking fight that motherfucker at that point. I'm running it the fuck over. I'm running it skull over. Yo, you know those eyeballs, how they're bulging out? I'm grabbing them like they're fucking, bro. I'm grabbing them like they're fucking balls. Pickle for the 300 bets. The girl in the button up, I would let her put on a leash on me. Oh, God. Kirby for the sub and two inch. Okay. You know what time it is. That girl is so fine, bro, in those short shorts. God damn, I would let her shoot my bowels off with a 12 gauge, and I need a sniff if that windowsill for a simple hello. God crush me with those thighs, bro. I need my head. That's crazy. We should get an AO. Bro, I didn't mean it like that. I'm saying I'll grab her eyes and rip them out. That's all I was trying to say, bro. All I was trying to say. Yeah, it came off a bit odd. All right, hold up. We got this last one. And then we should be ready for Monopoly. The gate is what this one's called. Two inch for the three inch bets. Says just like me, or no, not two inch pickle for three inch. But it says two inch just like for me, just like me for real. The gate. Oh, Kratos for the three inch. But says I missed your bits. Did I actually? Oh, that ain't scary. I'm not scared. Dash Joe Bart. He's choking. For the gate that leads to damnation is wide. The road is clear, and many choose to travel it. Somebody redeemed headset dent. Dude, I think my whole hair, I think my whole, all of my hair is matted right now. So it's not going to really be that dented. Cameron from the Fringe Bets. 
Top tip is don't fucking investigate that shit in the scenario. Don't, well, no, investigate it. And then if it's something weird, leave. Somebody redeemed flax? Wazi from Fringe Vets says, is too much a mod? No, he's, uh, he is VIP. Did you know the or gate. recognize this person? No, I didn't. Could you tell me how his physical condition appeared to you at this point? Well, it was fairly dark, but I could see that he was doubled over and was propping himself up against one of the cars. Um... I thought it was ill or maybe... Yo, I am bloated as fuck, chat. Like... Bitch, I'm relaxed. Like, I... <laughs> yo. It hurts. It, is it because I ate too fast? Bro, it hurts. It, but I, it hurt. It's like... It's like if I, it's not moving down, bitch. Like, fuck. Fucking. I mean, I can pull it in. But like, fucking hell. Like, this is resting. Like, oh my god. Bro, I'm getting a dad bod with that shit. Fucking hurts. You're Canadian for the third of bets. Don't know if I... If I just didn't hear that, but I think you missed my bits. I thought I did read your Canadian's bits. I feel like I did. I, I remember saying that. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. I didn't even read it. I, I shouted it, though. Remember watching your streams all the time. I have to start watching them. Thank you for the W content. No problem. Um, Just came back. Wanted to say I love your content. Thank you. Jovani for the Thringe bits. I would let her cut my balls off and make me eat them. Stop. Logan for the Thringe bits. I would, I would put, the, allig I would put the, al the girl in the alligator fook house. What does that even mean? Monique for the fringe bets. After seeing Momo close up, I'm realizing something snapped inside of me. Wait, hold up. Goodly for the fucking five gifted subs. Dumb in the chat. For, oh, oh, it's ten gifted. Goodly for the ten gifted subs. Dumb in the chat. Thank you for the fucking gifted subs there. Holy shit. Then something just snapped. Something, something inside, inside of, of me. me. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't, I didn't care even about hear it. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Then something just snapped. Something, something inside, inside of me. me. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kakarot. I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan. I didn't care about anything. I, lived. I didn't care about anything. And then it happened. Bro, I love the TikToks with that. What's that one guy that literally? Hold up. I'm literally gonna try and find it. You all know that TikTok, the dude that just duets random videos. Of like lemons and shit. And he'll just be like. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Kagarot. Something snapped. I'm literally googling something snapped. Top. Oh my god. Hold up. I might be able to find it on YouTube. His name is Hepatitis. Oh wait that's his username. You literally know his username. Hepatitis BA4. Is this fucking TikTok? Dude, he's hilarious. Where is it? Dude, I watched one like eight times. Oh, wait, here it is. Fuck. I literally F12 that shit. Hold up. Then something just snapped. Something inside of me. No! No more! That's it! I don't care! I didn't care anymore! I didn't care about being better than Kakarot! I didn't care about- <laughs> Bro, it's so funny. It's like every- then Dude, it's just like a regular video on your For You page. I didn't care anymore! I didn't care about being better than Kakarot! It's so fucking stupid. King for the sub, it's fucking hilarious though. Pity and humanize for the sub. Jude for the 300 bits. You can call me Jude. This is the first time donating. I am a pro baby stomper. What? Sorry for calling you a pussy on Minecraft. When did you do that? And Goodly Flipper again. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Damn. I think I am caught up on the bits. Yeah, I am. That's what it looked like. And did he see you or respond to you in any way? No, he didn't. 
Was there anybody else with him? I didn't see anyone, no. Oh, uh, Taro for the sub. Did you make any attempt to speak to him? Yes. <clears throat> but he didn't reply. Dude, so I just ripped ass, almost shit myself. Oh well, my I went God. over to see if I could help. My stomach is fucked up right now. Um, I don't know what it was. It might have been that dinner, dude. Which is... I th you know what I think it is? You know what I'm thinking it is? You know what I'm thinking it is? You know what I'm thinking it is? I'm thinking it's these, bitch. You just ripped ass on stream? No way. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. You think, <laughs> you think I care? Oh. Hold up. Hold up. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Dude, I get, guess how long I was dating Brooke before I started farting in front of her. You heard that? I don't care. A day. One day. She was my girlfriend? Okay, I can rip ass in front of you. If you're dating me, I'm ripping ass. I ripped ass in front of her. Day we started dating. Don't care. As all for the five, are you ready for me to bring the lamp over? Oh, when do you want to play? Bring the lamp over? And when do you want to? When do you plan on playing Little Hope? Little Hope I'm playing Tuesday and Wednesday. Starting at Tuesday, finishing at Wednesday. And Avery for the sub. And I don't know what your username is. The whole the whole dono thing is all fucking glitched up right now. And pickle for the three inch bets. I would let the girl in the shorts chop my thing off, then call me. Jovanique for the three inch bets. I'm stiffing my screen so hard right now. And he began Yo, to can y'all stop being weird? Oh my god. Monarique for the three inch bets. Do you really make 16 mil a year? No. I already said this. Look up my social. I make good money. Look up my social blade. Calculate how many Twitch subs I have. I do not make near, <laughs> I do not make near 60 mil a year. I would make more, more near one, more near one mil, more near one mil, not 16. The fuck? And eight more, no. Have a sort of convulsion. A seizure, I think. And um, what did you do then? Well, I didn't really know what to do for him. High six figure for sure. Literally. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like high six figure. That makes sense. But like, I'm not making 16 mil now. That's that's multi seven figure salary now. So I just thought that the best thing to do was to call for an ambulance. Um, but I couldn't get a signal. So I decided to get to the nearest. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Can't fucking hear you. Speak up. Speak up. Landline instead. Okay. I just need to clarify. You mentioned in your preliminary... Uh, Mr. Bradford 3 uh, says, I wanted to donate to my favorite pig dubs. ...statement and that you saw an unusual deterioration in Mr. Russell's condition in addition to the seizure he was experiencing. Could you tell me at what point this occurred, please? It was just after that. Uh, as I was leaving to get help, um, to get to a phone, I mean, just as I reached the elevator, I looked back at him. Okay. Could you describe again what it was you saw? <laughs> My God! Bro, that was out of nowhere. Could you describe again what it was you saw? <laughs> what is that? Looks like you. Fuck off. When is Monopoly? Right after this video, I gotta join the Discord call. I understand that it was only a few hours after this incident that an additional two bodies were found. That would be in the early hours of the 14th. Yes at two different locations. Both displayed evidence of the same extreme physical trauma that Mr. Russell had experienced. I should point out that the subsequent post-mortem examinations determined that each victim did belong to the same particularly rare blood group. This couldn't have been the exclusive cause of death, but as we later found out, it was certainly relevant. <laughs> there was some initial speculation that- it Looks like a newborn baby. A new virulent form of rabies might have been responsible. Which could have caused the accelerant- So when his PC doesn't work? Dude, me every day. Me every day during my morning shit. Ah, fucking screaming.
greater metabolic collapse, but was highly unlikely to have caused the Dude, gross distortion of the skeletal structure. In any case, there was no evidence of its presence in any of the PCR tests. In fact, Bo there was no presence of any toxins, press. contagion, or infectious agents at all. Proceeding to the night of the 16th, significant in, in two regards. Yes. At 8.17 p.m., a call was made to the emergency services from a residential address in Canary Wharf. The caller gave a brief description of her husband's symptoms before being unexpectedly cut off. Yo, this is off topic. Y'all want to know something weird, though? I got up at noon today. Hopped on stream at... T I, got up at I got up at noon, took a shit, ate, got on stream. And then once I get off stream, I'm probably going to bed. <laughs> so... All I have done today is stream. <laughs> that's it. That, that's it. That's, that, that's been my day. Look at Bovat for the sub. Uh, when paramedics finally gained entry to the apartment. Very eventful. I mean, it has been an eventful 25 minutes day. later, they found two bodies. No gym. I did body squats. I haven't got time for the gym today. I got Monopoly. Identified as a Mr. and Mrs. Halliday. The pathologist report concluded that Mrs. Halliday had suffered... A depressed fracture of the skull and multiple fractures to the C3 and C4 vertebrae. It's only been four hours. Dude, it's been four and a half hours. I woke up at noon. Four and a half hours ago, it was what? Like 1.30? In short. Not 130, JoJo's loading up Monopoly. Should we stop this? We're going to fast forward. We got to fast forward, chat. We're going to be behind. And why the... Quick, quick. This one sucks anyway. Physical default. That's backroom shit. Oh my god. This is literally the backrooms. Why are there so many water jugs on the fucking side of the, the walls? On like some NPS building. Join JoJo's call. Fuck. Okay, we're fast forwarding. We're going to the end. We're going to the absolute end. This was such a shitty video, too. Thankfully, I'm actually happy that we didn't have to fucking watch this. And most of it's the Chemical interview. Combined with an unusual blood group. Are you ever going to play Dark Eventually Deception Eventually culminated again now. in activating the catastrophic biological process that caused their deaths. Dude, uh, it's literally just some weird mutant shit. All right. Hold up. I got to hop on a call with JoJo. Nachio for the sub. Uh, or for the three inch vets, get both Browns to a hotel when Monopoly. Do you have any for the three inch vets? My favorite type of pie is poontang. Is doesn't that mean the female genitalia, bro? Stop. Wolf for the for the three inch vets. Uh, that's fine. That is literally your job. W day facts. Mister Brad for the three inch vets. Arsenal for the five inch vets. Uh, and Willboy for the five. Uh, do you think you can win Monopoly? I mean, maybe. Bobat for the sub. Should we do a prediction on whether or not I win the Monopoly game? We could. Oh, they made the group. Hold up. I'm going to go. I'll use the bathroom real quick, and then I'll join the, the Monopoly group. Let me load up Monopoly real quick. Because I'm going to have to friend them on it. Put your Ubisoft name in here. Hold up. JoJo needs my Ubisoft name. My Goobisoft name. Who's playing? Me, JoJo, Dante, Mark Phillips. Janix, and then who else? Fuck, there's one other person. There's one other person, I don't know who. Why is this shit not full screen, bitch? Why is this shit not full screen, bitch? It's just side screen. What the fuck? How do I make it full screen? How do I make it full screen? Agent? Agent's not in it. Setting. Welcome to Monopoly. Welcome to Monopoly. Shut the fuck up. All right, there we go. Dub, I got it full screen. We gotta turn this fucking music off. I'm about to freak the fuck out. This city is really nice. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I have to individually tap. That good? How's that? That should be good. I love this part of town. Bro.
Bro, I don't even know how he's supposed to friend me. How do you friend someone on fucking Ubisoft, bitch? Ain't no one use that. Y'all use Ubisoft? Oh, fuck no. Hot Wheels with fringe bats. You missed my last dono? Did I, I thought I read it. I, it was the two gifted subs, right? If you gifted a sub, I did read that. Uh, we're full for the five minutes. Thank you so much. You have helped me start doing my online business, drop shipping, about to start social media. You gave me the confidence. Big dub. Nacho for the three inch bets. Uh, and Rex for the three inch bets. I tried staying all stream. I'm in the UK. It's midnight. I'm sorry to hear that, that you can't stay all stream. But hopefully you will be able to stay uh, or watch the VOD back. Hold up. I got to add JoJo. I got to add JoJo on this shit. What the fuck, dude? Hold up. Let me... Is JoJo in the call? First of all, first of all, I didn't buy it for. And Did by the way, just, what no, is that sound? Hello? Oh, oh, uh, 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 I'm drinking a twisted tea. Okay, I'm sorry. My chat just fucking added a laugh track to a fucking joke. <laughs> now look, look, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, I'm financing the dog. Okay, so I didn't buy the dog. I'm okay. in the process of paying the dog off. Okay. Right. Second of all. Leaking the Yeezy price is fucking weird. I'm gonna say that. I didn't so say. Weird. I didn't even say Yeezys. I ain't saying. I said six hundred dollar pair of shoes. But, but they know what I got. I showed them yesterday. Yo, chat. I literally we went to the store. We went to the shoe store, and he was like, "Yo, I think I want to get these Yeezys." I was like, "Are you sure?" He was like, "I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks, bro. I I don't care. I'm gonna wear them." I was like, "Oh, wait, okay. Jojo, you're financing a dog." Yo, Joe, I don't like how that's where you come in at, right? But also, yeah, I am financing. Yo, dog, what is your username? I gotta add you on Ubisoft. Um, I'm trying to add you, but it's, hold on, let me see. Yeah, but no, uh, I'm financing a dog. What dog? Pitbull. Um, my name in, is, uh, Jojo the Most. Cut. How many months? My, uh, just one. So, it's like, one I put month, a down and it's ears it's are not, cut. A, and no, I'm saying how many, how many months too. are you financing the dog for? One month. Like, I put a down payment on it, and I'm just paying the rest when I get it. That's not financing that. that that's like, Yo, I, you. financing is like paying it off over like two years. Yo, I fucking I know what it is, but I just can I can I fucking yo bro, can I just use the verbiage that I want to use? Yo, why are you on my dick for today? What did I do? Yo, god yo, yo, oh my god, this shit is loud. My name is Jojo the Mobile yo, with two L's. I'll type it in the thing. Yes. Yeah, just type it in chat. Jojo. What? Jojo. What, bro? Oh, shit. Yo, chat, I see his shit moving, but I can't hear him. Hold on, hold on. My bad. Hold on. I got to change my shit. Hold on. You need... Jojo. You... What? <laughs> Dude, what are you gonna do you want? Its... Are you going to cut its tail, too? No, I'm not. Bro, okay. First of all... Okay, yeah. You oh, know, you're going to dock its fuck. tail? Yo, I did not even know the dog got his ears cut, bro, until my until people started pointing it out to me. I didn't want his ears cut, bro. I didn't know that that's what happened. Oh, so you're saying you don't like the dog if their ears are cut. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Y'all are so fucking weird. No, bro, that's not saying what I'm you don't want to take care of the dog's life anymore. Dude, what the fuck? No, I do, bro. I'm excited to get the dog. Yo, but they, chat, they suggested the type of food to feed the dog, and JoJo was like, I'm not buying all that. <laughs> and then went and, then went and bought six hundred dollars. Then, then went and bought six hundred dollars worth of shoes. What dog food you get it? I'm just gonna get it like it's kibble, bro. Get like, it like the, get like, it the... like the pedigree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a certain brand that they told me to get. And what'd you say? Hold on, wait, wait. Which which RDC members in this car right now? But my monopoly bugging out. Did you Somebody, get my friend request, Hold on. Yo, which RDC members in this car right now? Bro, it's Dylan. It's Dylan, I bro. Fucking knew it. <laughs> fucking knew it, bro. Yo, did he? Wait, hold up. I'm deafening. I gotta go take a pet. Wait, do you guys want me to deafen? I'll leave it. I'll leave it up. There's an RDC member. Yeah. Hold up. I'll actually, I'll actually just mute. So, okay, yeah, look, 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 let me see myself, let me see myself, let me see myself. You, you lied, Dylan. Seconds, did I, did I lie, 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 did I
Right, I'll, okay, I'm just starting off. He gonna be here though. He gonna be here though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't lie though. Yo, I'm gonna lie to y'all. Dylan, Dylan, bro. Yo, yeah, you, yeah. you, bro, you so funny, bro, because because you literally, I literally said, oh well, are you gonna play one? No, 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 no. Mark gonna be there. Mark, trust yeah, me, Mark yeah. gonna be there. I wouldn't lie. And then he said, and I'm gonna make sure that Ben and John is in there. You, these are your words. You said, I trust said, me, Mark said, gonna be there because. Because you don't like Ben and John, I said they're not gonna be there. I'll make sure dude, that. Yo, stop saying that narrative. I'm All right, with Dante, look, this what happened. John, this what, what are you happened. talking about? This is what happened, Dante. I said, I said, uh, Mark not go, might not be able to make it. Is uh, Ben fine? Silence. I said, okay, you obviously don't no, like Ben. He's, he's just saying. You know, you're, 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 you're gonna even give okay. me a chance. You're no. gonna give me a chance. No, because I, it was silence. So I said, okay, you don't like Ben. You don't wanna say it. You're on stream. Understandable. If you had said some shit like, oh, oh, uh, uh, Dylan, uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it, uh, to y'all stream. Maybe, uh, but somebody else can fill in, like, uh, Krista, I would have said, they would said, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, connect the what? dots, you feel me? If you would say, oh, Krista can come, though, I'd be like, I'm not, Yo, is their audio good, by the way? Can y'all hear them fine? Are they stream. too loud or too quiet? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd want to put JoJo. X2 for the sub. Right? Uh, I, mean, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make, I wouldn't make you say that sub. on stream. Is what I'm saying. Yo, Dylan, I am very glad you're here, and I'm very glad that RDC is here. Um, thank you for because remember our agreement. Yo, I'm not gonna touch about RDC and all this year, so too loud, I'm just glad that one of y'all could show up because I just I love y'all presence so much. I'm finna give Dylan that work when we play basketball. Oh my god, this is gonna <laughs> be unholy. Stop, stop saying shit, bro. Listen, oh my god, the way I'm about to do you is about to be unreligious. Bro, hey, TK. Holy water bath when I'm done with you. Bro, I'm, What's I'm, going on? Hey, no, Jojo. No, no. 